Dear Mother, I found myself on the road again, and I'm feeling free. If I can't be at home, I'd rather be adventuring, exploring the great world beyond the borders of our small town. I believe the thrill of the unknown is a prerequisite for the well-being of my spirit. In fact, I think I may have caught the wanderlust bug, so long as I'm in good company, and I am rich with good company at the moment. After my long soak in Sari's room, I had a restful night's sleep, the first I've had in ages. The next morning, we met Victor, Bolt, and Ezra in the dining hall. A towering stack of pancakes was placed before me, and, never a girl to shy away from a hearty meal, I silently challenged myself to eat them all. Bolt held the glowing ember core of Embaris, the fire elemental from the Sanctum, in their hands. They were staring at it as they turned it over again and again. Bolt wondered if Hollix, the minotaur we met at the Brewbash, might be able to help resurrect the elemental. Hollix is a druid, after all. We all agreed that it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. Hollix lives in Palebend, which is a town in Six Hills, so it wouldn't be too much trouble to visit him and ask for his assistance. Sari and I shared our plan with the others, to meet with Lucan and have Sari pose as Ezra, to keep him out of harm's way. Ezra, Victor, and Bolt agreed to join us on our journey to Terabon. Victor has agreed to teach me to fight blind. I'm not certain he would normally have agreed to help, but Sari nearly pestered him into submission. I have to laugh at the dynamic between those two. For being a hardened bounty hunter, Victor can be so sweetly oblivious and naive. Sari loves to take advantage of that and teases Victor incessantly. As I was about halfway through my pancakes and pushing the way the feelings of a stomach ache, we heard loud impending steps coming our way. Each step was accompanied by the tinkle of spurs. We turned to the sound and found Einor Elovir. She had come to thank us for our help in the sanctum. You would like Einor, mother. She is what you would call the salt of the earth, loyal and forthright and true. She offered us a ride with her to Willow Creek Hollow. I looked to Ezra to see if his face might betray his feelings about his home, but he simply shrugged and said that he had some unfinished business there. Willow Creek Hollow is on the way to Terabon, and Einor promised to cook for us on our journey as a thank you for rescuing her. As we parted to gather supplies and to meet with Hollix before our long journey, Einor asked to speak with Ezra in private. The others left, but I stayed behind to wait for Ezra. Mother, I know you will be ashamed to hear that I may have eavesdropped on Ezra and Einor's conversation, but I was only looking out for my friend. Friend. Yes, I do consider these dear people my friends. I watched Einor pull a large poster out of her pocket. On it was a drawing of Ezra, though it wasn't an exact likeness, but if someone were actively looking for him, I think they could put two and two together. Einor revealed that Ezra's father, Trevin, has been arrested, and that there is a bounty on Ezra's head with a hundred gold reward attached to it. A few days after Trevin was arrested, three shady-looking characters came to Einor's restaurant looking for him. One of them was a human with a black disc medallion on their chest. The medallion had an hourglass with an eye engraved on it. Einor said that she feels indebted to Ezra, and she would never reveal him to the Arcanum, but suggested he get himself a disguise. I couldn't agree more. Ezra and I joined the others, and we made our way to Palebend. We summited a hill and found ourselves surrounded by yurts, beautiful circular tents. Everywhere we looked, we found minotaurs. Children ran about the fields where their parents oversaw the earth and water elementals at work. It instantly took me back to playing with Tyrion Boldspeaker in the little brook at home. We would spend hours splashing in the water on hot days. He was always my favorite friend. Some afternoons we would just lie in the wildflowers and watch the clouds roll overhead while dreaming about our futures. Do you know he taught me to speak Minotaur? Tell Tyrion I say hello. We were met by Hollix and his captivating little water elemental from the Brewbash competition. I gave it a little squeeze. Hollix had heard that we ventured to Hollowbend, and he was surprised because it was, in his words, a scary place. I almost couldn't hold back my laughter. Scary doesn't even begin to describe it. Bolt explained what we had found in the Sanctum and handed the core to Hollix. He held it as gently as you would a newborn baby his eyes filled with reverence and awe. 
Pollux said that he could resurrect Ambaris, but he would be a different version of himself, though he would have his old memories. Hollix asked for our help with the ritual. He needed us to gather symbols of each of the four elements. We quickly left to gather our items. Upon our return, we found a giant bonfire, surrounded by the minotaurs, all chanting and singing an ancient tune. Hollix took each of our elements and used them as part of the ritual. Sere offered a pinwheel from the festival. Ezra offered up a charred log. Bolt offered a wild flower. Victor provided water from a well and I provided a simple pine cone because it reminded me of home. As Hollix rehearsed his hymn, I felt some supernatural force pull at my soul, and I heard myself thinking, yes, Embaris, my spirit wants you here. I closed my eyes and allowed myself to bask in the divine experience we were all having together. I heard a log cracking in the fire. I opened my eyes to see an owl emerge from the flames. It was completely swathed in fire, from its powerful beak to its sharp talons. And Baris was alive. Hollix was visibly emotional. There were two streams of tears running down his face. It was clear to me in that moment how sacred the earth and the elements are to him and his people. I can only hope to treat the land with as much love and respect. The owl, Embaris, flapped its wings and perched on a log, then spoke to us. She was surprised to be back. She thought everything had been lost to the darkness in the sanctum. We told her what had happened with the purple flesh monster. Bolt warned her about the nasty bugs left in the burned forest. Ambaris thanked us for our help and gifted us each a single owl feather before she flew off to be reunited with Glitterbug. As I was carefully braiding my owl feather into my hair, Victor tried to help Ezra create a disguise. He rubbed his hands in the soot of the fire and tried to wipe his hands on Ezra's face. I'm still giggling to myself thinking about it. Ezra dodged Victor's sooty fingers and said he would use a scroll of disguise instead. We thanked Hollix for his help with the resurrection. I asked when he will be getting married. He said that they are planning on Ignis, just before planting season. I handed him my communication ring, and when he handed it back, I found a little pair of horns had been etched into the ring. I hope to get an invitation as they get closer to the wedding day. We returned to the town square and met up with Einor. She purchased a donkey, which we've since named Penelope, to help pull her caravan. Her caravan was loaded to the broom with supplies, and we began our ten-day journey to Willow Creek Hollow. It has been good to spend time with my friends on this journey. The scenery is breathtaking. Meadows filled with lush grass adorned with beautiful flowers stretch as far as the eye can see. Gentle animals are everywhere. Whenever we take a break from walking, I like to find a quiet place to listen to the birds sing. From the bold call of the blue jay to the melodic trill of the thrush, their psalms help me commune with nature and brings me closer to the power of the trio. Victor has been teaching me to fight without my sight. He is so disciplined in his craft, and quite frankly, he makes fighting blind look easy. I can assure you, it is not. Fighting with sticks is his favorite form of torture for me. I should be grateful it's just sticks. I'm covered from head to toe in lumps, bumps, and bruises. Evidence of my novice abilities. I do think I'm improving, but Victor would probably say otherwise. I love the feeling of unity that has started to form within our group. Ezra and Sari spend a lot of time together as Ezra has been teaching Sari how to better recognize magic. Bolt has been building a clockwork owl for Ezra. I marvel at Bolt's ingenuity and penchant for all things mechanical. On our third day of travel along the long road, we ran into a bit of trouble. We were arguing about who dislikes Glitterbug the most. I'm quite certain it's a tie between Sere and Einor. As we came around a bend, a large rock was blocking the road. The rock began to move, and we quickly realized it was not a rock at all, but a massive unsavory troll. He introduced himself as Brux and demanded we feed him or become food ourselves, claiming that he owned the road. He seemed particularly interested in Einor's donkey, Penelope. I asked Brux what kind of food he's interested in. He gave me a menacing smile, licked his lips, then simply said, Raw meat. He's definitely not the type of troll I'd want to run into on a stroll alone at night. Ezra tried to use magic to put Brux to sleep, but it just made him angry. It seemed there was no reasoning with the brute. Sometimes a bit of violence is the only solution. Victor snuck behind a rock and threw a knife at Brux from out of the shadows. The dumb swine had no idea where the knife came from. 
While the troll's little brain was trying to comprehend what had just happened, Bolt raised their gauntlets and delivered a massive blow, with a bit of help from Ezra's time magic. Brex didn't seem to like Bolt's attack and decided to solve the problem the only way trolls know how, with his mouth. He bit Bolt like an outraged toddler, then tossed them to the side. Sari attacked with her glaive but missed the troll. Inspired by our experience with Holix, I tried to call upon the power of the earth for help. Vines rose from the ground beneath the troll's feet, wrapping his arms and legs, but he was too strong and quickly broke free. Once again, I was close enough to smell our enemy. Why do I continually find myself contending with putrid beasts? Have they not heard of bathing? Ezra shot orange magic from his hands at Brux, who was soon engulfed in flames. Victor ran out from where he was hiding. He dove behind the troll and swiftly sliced the back of both of the troll's knees, causing him to fall. As he was falling to the ground, Bolt delivered a beautiful uppercut with their gauntlets. The troll slammed into the earth, the force of which knocked me onto my back. Sari delivered a swift hit with her glaive. The vines hadn't worked for me, so I returned to my trusty longsword, killing the stinking troll. The troll's body was blocking our path, so Bolt tried to move it off the road. As they started to drag Brax, the troll rose to his feet. Perhaps next time we should check for a pulse before disposing of a body. Brex grabbed Bolt in his hands, smashed them to the earth, then threw them twenty feet. Sari struck the troll with her glaive and yelled at Ezra to use more fire. Ezra quickly torched the troll and we determined he was dead dead at last. I ran to Bolt. The poor thing was so banged up. They were leaking oil all over the dusty ground. I put my hands on them and made a silent plea to the trio. Bolt opened their eyes as the soft purring of a cat awoke them, providing comfort and help. After our run-in with Brux, we needed a reprieve. Einor got to work cooking us up some of her delicious food. We've been well fed on our journey thus far, Mother. I've eaten some of the most exotic foods and they've all been delicious. Fossil soup, albatross with strawberries, chickweed pie. I'll try to gain the courage to ask Einor for some of her recipes to send to you. Yesterday we ran into a Meadstead beer golem that looked like it had gotten into a scuffle. It was covered in blood, which we suspect came from bandits attempting to steal its contents. It is very curious, Mother. This stretch of the long road is normally very safe to travel on. It is protected by the House of Greenwood from Terabon. Something must be amiss. Bolt cautiously approached the golem, and it seemed to be at ease in their presence. Bolt spent nearly two hours tinkering, patching, and adjusting the construct. When they were done, the golem stood, dispensed a voucher of sorts for one free keg of Meadstead beer, then lumbered off. Last night was a full moon. Sari and I laid in our beds in eager anticipation while we waited for the others to go to sleep. Once we thought they were out, we crept off to hunt for Luna Berries. Mother, I was so surprised and excited to learn that I can use magic to help me speak with animals. We found a kind owl sitting silently in a tree. He provided us with directions to a lunaberry patch. We followed the owl's perfect directions and found ourselves surrounded by the glowing fruit. I picked a handful and shoved them into my mouth. They are as glorious as I remember. I turned to ask Sari if she liked them to find her mouth glowing with lunaberry juice. She looked ridiculous. She grinned, revealing her luminous stained teeth. I was soon doubled over with laughter. We quickly found we could use the berries as body paint and were absolutely radiant with hand-drawn designs on our faces and arms. We ate more berries than we reserved for Einor, but how could we not? Soon our fingers were sore from picking and we rested in the Luna Berry patch, looking at the constellations above as you and I once did many years ago. I like to think that you may be looking at the same stars as I am at the moment I'm looking at them, and it helps me not to miss you as much. Sari helps too. My adoration for her grows every day. The best part of today was eating the bread pudding Sari and I baked for dinner, with Einor's assistance, of course, using the luna berries we picked. Victor even made wassail. I think he spiked it with vodka, which will come as a surprise to no one but perhaps Einor, but it was tasty nonetheless. I often wonder if I'll ever be able to send these letters to you. Who knows? Maybe I'll get to deliver them in person. I hope I get to see you again. I love you. Eve
Hello and welcome back to session seven of Tales of Anaria. Woo! Um, you guys are continuing along along the long road. You've been uh, traveling for a week now, heading northeast towards Terrabon. You've had some fun encounters along the way. Uh, you've probably eaten yourself sick at some point. Can I get constitution saving throws from the yeah. two of you who stuffed Definitely. yourselves with uh, <laughs> Luna Berries? Oh, I did good. Um, <laughs> Twelve. And twenty. Yeah, Ooh, you nice. guys are you guys are hardy enough. You know, Eve you know can well, hold her. When it comes sweets. to berries, oh, yeah. yes, yeah. we're fine. It's yep. just it's, it's the alcohol it, that, yeah. uh, <laughs> that we struggle with. We didn't drink too much of Victor's fossil. Nope. Right, the fossil. Yeah, fossil. Uh, so as you're traveling along today, uh, you're kind of just going around the road. You see off in kind of the distance, you see this small family of Axtoli, uh kind of wading through marshland. You know, picking rice patties, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. They, they look up and they wave uh, one of their forearms to you, um, just in, in passing. And uh, that night, you guys have a wonderful uh, dinner because um, let's see, everybody, let me a survival check. Let's see who gets to be the hero tonight. Mm-hmm. Not me. Three. <laughs> Fifteen. Eighteen. Oh. Five. Come on, switch. Um, what did you call? Three. Three. Fifteen. 15. So 18 is the highest. Uh, Victor catches a lynx, actually, Ooh. and uh, during the day. Delicious. Yeah. So you guys have barbecued lynx, <laughs> filet, with plums, wasabi, and garlic um, salt. Wasabi. And then wasabi. Uh, that's served with honey bread, with honey, so it's honey bread and honey on top of it, and snake pie. And then mm-hmm. what do you have uh, to drink tonight for your seventh journey? Oh, tonight is brought to you by... Colby Scopies. That's right. Home brewed. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Strawberry lavender. Lavender. <laughs> right. yeah. lavender. We can use that as our marker. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's the perfect folly effect. What kind of snake? Mm. Uh, just your typical garden snake. I don't think I ate it. Yeah, you didn't <laughs> eat the, the snake pie. I felt like it was kind of... Too fangy. Well, uh, yeah, I too, don't know. Too fangy. So, is it like little bits of snake meat in the pie, or did she like bake the pie and then just like curl the snake on top? Um, or is it oh, just the head? Is it just the head? It's just the head so, 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 so you think of like, <laughs> this like in, Indiana Jones where you gotta cut the side open and eat the babies? Oh, why? Jute <laughs> monkey brains. I love that shit so much. <laughs> the thing uh, appreciates that you don't want to eat her kind. Thank you. Uh, the, the, the claw is a little disappointed that you're not uh, enjoying the the facets of predation. Uh, it's a little um, it's a Sorry. little bit of a double standard there. I think. Eve didn't really understand. <laughs> She's never had links before. Yeah. Now, Eve, if you're going to to um, survive, if you ever need to survive on your own, you'll never need to be able to catch things without using your eyes. Okay. Uh, uh, what should I catch? I'm closing them. I- is there any other snakes You're nearby? You're peeking. <laughs> Throw a snake there's, at her. There's definitely like another snake. Sure. I, got, I got the snake. Uh, just, I'm not going to this, but I, I want to toss a snake and see if she can catch it. With uh, yeah, closed. I mean, you're, you have <laughs> light fighting now. I do. Yeah. So go ahead. Ha <laughs> yeah. Well done. Well done. You might not want the whole thing. And too long. the montage is complete. Yep. <laughs> the blind yeah, fighting. You open montage. up your eyes and there is definitely a snake in your head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was in real life. Tori was bit by a snake once. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Huh. So I'm, I'm definitely afraid of snakes. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's also like, what stung kind of by snake? a scorpion. Kind of snake. Oof. It was just like a little garden snake. It was snake. a garter snake. <laughs> <laughs> like the one hurts, Victor just it? threw at Eve. I got that right here. <laughs> yeah, it bit me on my finger and wouldn't let go, and I was like... <laughs> um, Remind me later, I'll tell you a story about the lawnmower and garden snakes. Oh, dear. We went what to, is a long we went to, and, and of course we go. A goat. We went to animal <laughs> it's a nickname Island, for a goat. Uh, for like a scout <laughs> thing. And my friends and I were running out towards like the little beach area. And we jumped over this rope and we, and I stopped, I turned around and the rope was gone. And I was like, oh, that was a snake. And I, a no rope? It re- yeah, it registered to me as like, it, it had like a rattlesnake like pattern. Like obviously oh. I, I like, I don't think it was a rattlesnake Did or anything like juice? that. Cause, but it was just one of those things where it was like, we jumped over it without even yeah. thinking about it. And then I stopped and I went, didn't look like a rope after yeah. all, and we turned around and it was gone. So Danger little yeah. like Canyon rattlesnakes. has rattlesnakes, mm-hmm. and I've encountered them, and they're terrifying. Same. I have too. I'd rather encounter a rattlesnake than a copperhead, though, because they won't—they mm-hmm. won't tell you. They'll just get you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Back to the right. story. Uh, back 
back in on the eighth day, uh, you guys are traveling along, and you see at, at sort of this crossroads that would lead to a small uh, village, you know, kind of off in the distance a little bit. Um, you see a small shrine, kind of laden with. There's an, uh, an offering of food and a few coins laying on it, mm. and you can see that it, it just looks like it's a uh, a shrine that has this kind of this small little stone pillar, and the symbol is a circle with a line across it that looks almost like it's a horizon line. Mm. So a circle, with a line across. Yep. Would any of us recognize like who the shrine was to? That would be a religion check. Does uh, anyone describe it? Assume that everything that I say gets described. How about a 19? 19? 20. Uh, yeah, you two definitely would recognize it. Now, this is a... Oh, it's definitely a... Oh, I got a natural 20. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to recognize this, too. It's this is a, a uh, shrine to a god of travel. Uh, the god's name is Floral Nagin. Oh, Floral Nagin. F-H-A-R-L-A-N-G-H-N. Oh. Um, I want to, I want to fish out like a couple of dried luna berries that I that I'd been saving, and I just put them on the shrine okay. as well, and make right. a little bow. So yeah. you, you feel a uh, calming presence, kind of just like almost as if there's a little bit of a burden being on the road, you know, bandits at every turn, uh, trolls, weird things that uh, you really shouldn't expect along the long road. And mm -hmm. You feel a little bit more at ease. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. Does anybody else uh, place an offering or? Hmm. Um, did I ever take that wanted poster from from Einar? I think yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. I'll roll that up and put that on there. Okay. And a gold coin. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Again, you feel you feel more at ease. You feel a little bit more relaxed, especially getting rid of the burden that is the hundred gold bounty on your head, literally in your pocket. I was you know. say, hey, I was going to use that. Just kidding. Target practice or darts? <laughs> like, you trust like, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was going to disguise myself as well. Turn we'll myself that. in, <laughs> collect the gold, and then kill everyone who was trying to capture me. Just kidding. Oh, I figure the god of travel would be happy with the fact that I'm wanted. That's a very traveler thing to do. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Okay, so you guys move along. Uh, after that, Einor does uh, place uh, a little bit of food down as well before moving along. She places a little bit for Penelope too. Uh, despite her gruff demeanor and not caring about the name of the donkey, she seems to be growing a little bit more attached to it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and actually, uh, as a reward, that's an epic dice for... Sweet. And Ezra. The gods are pleased. Got it. Yep. Just a nice little... <laughs> Just a nice little bonus. I can take Einor's if you want me to. Donkey makes an attack yeah. and crits. <laughs> um, and then that night you actually, it's just a nice little affair of fried beaver with a side of sauteed Swiss chard. I'm not sure what chard is, but- It's uh, like a leaf. It's like yeah, a it's yeah. plant. Swiss chard and limes. It's when you burn something really bad. And then, and then on the the ninth day, uh, you guys are getting close to Willow Creek Hollow. You can see the the terrain has changed a little bit. Um, off in the distance, far in the distance, you can see the tops of the jungle trees that make up the emerald. Mm. Was it the emerald pile? Mm -hmm. emerald yeah. Pile. yeah. Ezra, I can see your house from here. <laughs> um, have you been there? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, we are getting home. Um, the the giant strong. spire of Sky Peak looms in the middle of that jungle. Mm. Um, Do I see any dragons <laughs> flying around? You can uh, roll me a perception check and see. A natural one. Um, <laughs> you do see dragons as, as in that kid. Yeah. Dragon! <laughs> as, cloud. as soon as like you look, like clouds like literally co cover over <laughs> the peak, so you can't see. I swear, for much. a moment, I saw something, some flame. <laughs> I swear. One one day I want to visit Sky Peak. Maybe Me too. we can go dragon hunting. That sounds incredibly dangerous. The Emerald Wild's no place for anybody to be. Yeah. 
that that's why it's so fascinating. All right. Um, and then importantly, you also see a uh, a barricade in the road, and there is uh, one person kind of just leaning up against that that barricade. You can see that it's actually it almost looks like there's a couple other like small walls that are angled outward. Um, Not a troll, but. Yeah. <laughs> Question. Yeah. What does Ezra's uh, disguise look like? Um, I was actually just about to cast disguise self okay. on me. Um, I'm going to go for just a basic human male fighter look. <laughs> fighter, you're going to change your entire class? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just the look. Just kind of like some light armor, some medium armor. Like nothing nothing threatening, but also mm-hmm. some somebody you probably don't want to mess with kind of right. vibe. Got any sort of like uh, features that you want to have? Um, that? Probably just have like a scar on the chin kind of thing. A little gruff, but not not like mm-hmm. so obvious that it's going to draw attention. Maybe just kind of like a soldier that they would have seen mm-hmm. in the town passing by or whatever. Okay. Yeah, your basic all middle sliders uh, human yeah. character creation. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we'll have Einor stop and then uh, Eve. You would like to accompany me up to these? Good idea. Whoever they are. Since I am the leader. <laughs> <laughs> Once every episode, somebody has to do something, and Eve has to remind them that she is the leader. You elected me. I can't help it. Yes, you all stay behind. I have this great idea. Bolt and I will go up to speak with this individual. You all hang out here behind. I click my heels and give us <laughs> salute. You are the best soldier. <laughs> My favorite by far. I'm classic. Take trained. note. <laughs> Penelope gives a little winning at that. <laughs> Stamps the ground a few times. Penelope, you're excellent too. You are just behind Sarah. That means the rest and of you are you behind. And don't you forget it. <laughs> I mean, we already established that if we're going to, if we have to, we'll eat the donkey first, then I know her, then the food, right? Remember that? <laughs> yeah. So. I forgot about you that. Had, that was <laughs> your plan that we hadn't necessarily agreed to yet. All right, Bolt, shall we? Right, lead the way. I'm gonna I'm gonna pat Sari on the head and go. Just as we walk by, like. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, Bolt <laughs> and <laughs> Eve. Don't know why I pointed to you first. Bolt and Eve. Uh, walk up it's probably about a hundred feet you guys stopped you know away from the barricade itself and the very tired looking uh man sitting in the barricade opens up his eyes and sees you and blinks a little bit and goes uh well skaven it looks like we've got more and uh another man comes from around the barricade this one looking a little bit more aware um he is he's bald he's got an eye patch over one eye uh kind of this ragged looking cloak on and he's got a kind of a large mace strapped to his belt. And you can see that he's he's wearing kind of normal chainmail armor, uh, but he does have a, a small little patch on his cloak that looks to be haphazardly sewn in. And it shows off the symbol for the uh, noble house of Greenwood, which is a... They're the ones who are supposed to be protecting mm-hmm. the long ground. Mm-hmm. And it's a green field uh, with a uh, silver shoe kind of on uh, on the, on the move is the uh, symbol. And you can see it up on the uh, World Anvil site, and we'll have it posted up for everybody else to see right now. But yeah. Green, Greenville? Greenwood. 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 And he stops and he goes, uh, and he waits until you're about 40 feet or so away, and he goes, that's uh, far enough. <clears throat> Good day. Good afternoon. Heading up the long road? Oh, we are indeed. My name is Eve. It's so nice to meet you. You you are? Uh, Skaven's the name. Skaven? Yes. What a lovely name. Uh, this is my companion, Bolt. You're literally the only person who's ever said that my name is lovely. <laughs> Not even your mother? No, she gave it to me because she hated me. Oh, I'm so sorry <laughs> to hear that. That's yeah, fine. And Bolt, just you two traveling today, and he kind of purposefully looks a hundred feet away with his one good eye. Right just wait for <laughs> Sorry, wait a second. Oh, no, of course not. We've got some friends with us. Um, Einor Elevir, do you know of her? Can you oh, tell how far away they are? He's only got one eye, no depth perception. <laughs> uh, he, doesn't, right. he doesn't say, like, uh, what about those people exactly right 100 you. feet away from us? <laughs> right behind you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Yeah, I, I think I've heard of her. She, uh, she's got a pretty famous restaurant in town. 
She absolutely does. Yeah. We're accompanying her back home. Wonderful. Um, hope you don't mind. We just have to, we have to go through some checks to make sure that there's no uh, criminals among you and no bounties that need to be done, that sort of thing. Uh, there's a five silver fee to use the road. It's a toll road, road now. So uh, five silver each for that. And then you can be on your way. Really? Has it always been a toll road? Uh, no, just recently. We've been hired on by Greenwood to kind of help protect the road a little bit. It and seems things have been quite dangerous on the road. What, what's changed? Uh, as far as I'm aware, they don't have enough people to handle things. You know, not enough knights to wander up and down the road. It is a very, very long road, and it's very hard to uh, patrol it all at all times. So that's why we're here. It is indeed a long road. They've never had trouble patrolling it before. I'm not actually part of the house. They just deputize me, so to speak. Well, I think they picked an excellent candidate. Oh, thank you. Your beautiful blue eye. Thank you. You know, I was debating about putting the patch on the eye patch, but I thought that might be a bit garish. What do you think? <laughs> I think you should do it. All right. Maybe I'll do that after you guys head out. Absolutely. Uh, well, please, we have, kid out. <laughs> we have nothing to hide um, at all. So we, we'd be happy to have you inspect whatever you need. Of course. Um, um, as, yeah. as far as the toll road goes, though, however, um, we have had a bit of trouble on the road. We ran into a troll. Did you know? We did, and I, I think for our troubles of disposing of him, we should we should get to pass for free. Uh, go ahead and roll me a persuasion check. Natural twenty. Oh, nice. nice. He he Ooh. swerves at you a bit, and he goes, "Normally, I'd have you take that up with the House of Greenwood themselves, but uh, you like my eye and my name. I do. And, and you like the idea about the eye. You know what? You're good all around. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> and the one that goes, it's caving. He's like, shut up. Just, it's fine. So if you'd all come up here, we'll go ahead and give you a quick check over, make sure that there's nothing untoward, and then you can be on your way. Absolutely. And Eve waves for everyone to come. And as, Victor, as uh, does, how you do your uh, voice, you I'm sweating to... buckets over here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say know cool, things like cool, that. Man. I don't know, but you're, but you're not, you need to say what. <laughs> More chat span, what you're saying. Vosso. Vossel, Vossel. <laughs> Much better. Get you pumped up. So as as they're heading up, um, another figure comes from around behind the wall. Uh, this one is uh, draped in kind of uh, gray robes. He looks like a wizard, um, but he looks like a, another kind of like one of these ragged street wizard types rather than any sort of like learned like Ezra is. And he's got this this giant book with him. And he opens it up, and as he does, he kind of flips it open, and you can see uh, the hint of uh, different wanted posters mm -hmm. and stuff kind of flipping through uh, all magically. There's a lot of bounties in this book. And he goes, uh, what was your name? Uh, my name is Eve. Last name? Eve. It's just Eve, actually. Just I don't Eve. have a last name, no. And he starts, he starts kind of running his hand over, and the, the pages start flipping through, and he goes... Then he holds it over to Skaven, and Skaven looks down and he goes, Where are you from, Eve? Uh, Terabon. Really? Yes. You don't have the usual accent for Terabon. <clears throat> well, I've traveled so much that, uh, you know, you, you pick up other accents here and there. Ooh, go and give me a deception check, is it? No, Eve is wanted. Oh, poop. It's okay, you gotta have charisma. <laughs> I do. Plot twist! <laughs> Uh, that is a 13. 13? <clears throat> Do you mind if we have a, a chat privately? I make a point never to be alone with a man. Could I take Bolt with me? Yeah, sure. And, and I, I say, I'm coming too. Uh, no, only the two of you. Please. <clears throat> And he and he looks over, and uh, the the wizard is kind of currently checking, and he he goes. I'm sorry, I assumed that the wizard was a man. Uh, yeah, the wizard. Okay. Was a man, yep. Uh, and he. You're good. Welcome to. Welcome to the towns of Terabon. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you guys can like Skaven will kind of usher you behind the wall, here, and as soon as you're out of earshot, you can actually see behind the wall. There's actually. Uh, there's actually several more uh, 
men kind of with the same kind of patches and they all have like crossbows and they're kind of just pointed down the barricades on the other side so they've got little like arrow slits and uh, nobody noticed him before but you can all see them now that you're like pausing to take a look at it and he goes um <clears throat> so my uh, friend there with the big book of bounties um has one that has a surprising likeness to you eve really yeah and uh, i'm assuming that that's short for evosia Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> a little wine. Oh. Um, yes. It's, it's quite a common name, though. It is indeed, but uh, there's not very many fish out of water. How should we say? And uh, unfortunately, you're a little too green in the gills. Um, but did you know that there's a price on your head? I suspected there may be. It's only 15 gold, which unfortunately is a little more trouble than we're really, than we're really uh, caring about here. All right. So if we could be persuaded to forget that we saw you, hmm. that would be preferable. <clears throat> well, I would prefer that you forget that you saw me as well. Um, may I ask, who else has these posters? Uh, well, so the big book of bounties is a special item that anybody, any bounty hunter can purchase for gold. From so your bounty hunters. <laughs> Wichter? Wichter? Among other things. So help me. I might have Mercenaries. one, I don't know. <laughs> and the You'll house of Greenwood to. decided to employ you. Indeed. Hard times. Can I incite that? Sure. I'm I'm gonna, see, I want to see if he's... Basically telling the truth. How many of these guards did you say there were? Uh, you you can count about four arrow slits, plus the one that's sitting in the front, plus the wizard, plus uh, Skaven. Eighteen. Eighteen? Um, yeah, there's something a little off here. You can start telling. Now this barricade isn't at the town, right? This is out in the middle. This is out in the middle. You're eat. still about a day like, away from the town. While we're so when she called us over and we're approaching, I'm gonna kind of lean over to Ezra and say, Ezra, I I need you to be my eyes, please. And I'm gonna act very like I can't see a thing and that he's all saying. I should probably think of about uh, think of telling them like a pseudo name. Oh, I got one. It's like just come, Ravi. So I (laughs) so I figure 15 gold plus two for our trouble, then we forget we ever saw you. I don't think that's going to work. I mean, if you want, I can just take you in and collect the bounty. I don't have to take you all the way to... Well, actually, I don't even think I could take you all the way. But uh, I just have to take you to the borders of Bleakwood. I dare you to try. Can we hear any of this? Or is this by uh, this, is, this is out of out of range. Okay. So we did wave them up, so they would have been yeah, up but closer to the... They there's a hundred feet out of earshot yeah, on the other side correct. of the barricade. <clears throat> Specifically because he knew that this might get on me. He goes, "All right then." Can we? Can sorry? Can we see them at least? No, nope. we can't see. Yeah, them. they put they put them behind the barricade. I'm okay. getting antsy now. Yeah. The, the wizard is like looking you guys over, and, and he's just kind of idly going through the book. He hasn't started scrutinizing you yet. Um, but uh, Skaven says, "Okay then," and he grabs his mace and he tries to swing it at you. So we're gonna get into combat. Whoa! <laughs> oh, no. Do, we, do you want us like, to roll for initiative I was for, as well? Like, anything yes. from okay. even like, but I just punch him. <laughs> 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 I will. We'll see who wins on initiative here. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, Ezra, what'd you get? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Victor. Eleven. Eleven. Bolt. Six. I'm not winning that initiative. Nope. Uh, Saradon. 16. Eve. 18. 18. And what is your dex, Eve? 12. Yeah. 12? Where is it? <clears throat> yep. 12. Darn. So close. What? What do you mean, so close? You, you matched the initiative number, but you didn't match the dexterity of the bandit captain. You were close, but now you're doing it before you. You're going to get maced in the face. Maced to the face. Uh, but actually, 
So the first thing that happens here is Ezra gets to go first, but we are yeah. doing a surprise round for everybody um, on that side. Obviously, I don't know anything's yeah. gone mm-hmm. wrong, so I'll just keep my normal pace walking up to the wizard, and that okay. will be my turn, I guess. Right. So then they don't they don't seem to have any sort of like indication that anything is going wrong on their end either. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and call thug number one. What is the one on the that side of the wall? There's green and blue. Uh, sorry, on, on the um. Oh, uh, he's a purple like robe, purple assassin guy. Purple robe, and then the yeah. red bald and guy, the wizard. Call him assassin and okay. one punch man. He also he also is basically <laughs> a surprise round because he knows that nothing <laughs> is going wrong. So it is uh, the bandit captain that will act first in this. Okay. Face to the face. Face to the face. Ace of base. He just went up the the top stairs. All right. Let's make a Uh, tower. So there's going to be uh, three attacks coming at you. Okay. Thank you. So the first is a a ten to hit. That will miss. Okay. Uh, the second, so he, he brings down, you You dodge out of the way. Uh, Victor's been training you well. The second, however, is a 23 to hit. That will hit. Okay, so the second, the mace comes back around and smacks into your stomach for five bludgeoning damage. Okay. Oh, that guy's so dead. And then, <laughs> and then you see a dagger flash out uh, from his other hand, and that's the third attack here which is going to be a 16 to hit. That will miss. Okay, and you're able to kind of stumble back and void that one as well. Mm-hmm. And he goes, and as as he like, he strikes, 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 and then he goes, hostile! And all of the other people like, just suddenly like, jerk into motion. You can see the wizard is dropping the book and starting to like, reach for a wand okay. and everything like it goes like super slow motion, Western style, mm-hmm. all the crossbows <laughs> cock. <laughs> Down, down, down. And Eve just screams, Help! <laughs> and then it is your turn, actually. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, I gotta just go after this guy right in front of me with my long sword because yep. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 to hit. 18 will hit. damage. Six damage. Okay. Yep, so he, he blocks it with the mace, but you kind of get a good chink in the shoulder there. Uh, anything else? Um, sh- I don't want to move away from him. Okay. And you did scream help. Yes, and I will okay. just say, you scallywag. <laughs> now you know why my mom called me Skaven. <laughs> <laughs> she was right, and Skaven. it is a hideous name, and your eye is ugly. <laughs> I will be poking it out shortly. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Brutal. When I'm done with you, you're going to need two eye patches. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you sure you didn't take like bard levels? Cutting words. Dang. <laughs> I called you a scallywag and I meant it. <laughs> um, so the next thing that happens is... Do I get to go since I'm technically in the, in the unknown round? Oh yeah, you will get you will get your attack in the surprise round here, which everybody else is, is not in the surprise round, but... Uh, I'm gonna give him the old one-two punch. Except for just one punch. Just right? one punch. Just one punch. <laughs> <laughs> the two is metaphorical. It's one, one, 19. Two. Get him, say, 19 Tama. will hit. Nice. Max damage. Max damage. Swing. Uh, that would be 11. 11 damage. Nice. And he's he's so busy with Eve's taunts that, like, Bolt just comes in and, like, <laughs> Smash it right into yeah, it. Yeah, I, I like watch him like a little hit bit. even the gut and I go, I can do that. <laughs> Good one, Bolt. <laughs> if, right. you, if you would like to back off, feel free. This is why I brought them along. Ezra, we'll go back up to the top of the round with you. Okay, hearing Eve scream and a punch to the gut, <laughs> um, I'm just going to attack the people in front of me. I'm actually going to drop my disguise and just, I'm going to throw a shatter right at the gate and see if okay. I can Ooh, blow the gate open nice. and blow them out of the way. Love it. Sure. So I'm just going to do shatter right there. So they need to do a con save of 15. 15 con? Or they're going to take some damage. 
poop. You poor roll. Um, the thug I'm pour this does not make a save, but the wizard does. Oh, that's good. So, All right. so. so that's um, 12 damage. 12 or half and on half. Save? Yep. Okay. And I spent my epic dice on that one. And so, now yeah. um, and objects yep, take objects yeah. take the damage too. So can yeah. I blow the gate open, yep. or is, was that not just enough a moment or? here? I'll go ahead and describe okay. that. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So Ezra fully drops the disguise self, uh, thrusts your hands forward, and this like sonorous like tone just smashes. How big is the area on? It's a, a ten. The 10 feet in each okay. direction. It's heard yeah. within yeah. 300 feet. Um, so, Scott, um, would, you, would you grab path. me the blown apart uh, <laughs> barricade that we <laughs> actually have for this? What? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's Thunderclap. Thunderclap? Okay. Um, the creature made of it is Christmas. I thought it made a noise. But so, yeah, you definitely see, like, this this uh, ruffian, like, advancing on Eve and Bolt trying to, like, block and everything like that. So, you can clearly see that. You can get through that barricade easily now. Um, it yeah. is just going to be blown apart instead of just removing it. I think it's okay. And then they don't get moved around or anything, um, is that just right? Just verify. Da, 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 da. Thunder wave is the one I think knocks Yeah, back. no, they're just, they ju it just hurts their ears, basically. Okay. Loud ringing noise, painfully intense. Yep. No movement, so that's, shell that's it. Yep, shell shocked. Okay, perfect. Uh, then it is uh, that, that thug that you attacked, the purple robe. And actually, hold on, real quick. I since I'm not in yeah. melee range, I actually want to run. <laughs> okay, so I'll use my movement, and I'm gonna back up. Five. I'll get. I'll just go back there. Okay. Just got him. Uh, Boom, and then oh crap, and run away. That thug is going to follow you though. Okay, that's fine. And he is going to come in with his. So he's gonna run up right next to him. Yep. Cool. Ah, stay swing. back. Stay back. And he pulls out a mace as well. So we've got a. 10 to hit. That will miss. And then a 22 to hit. Yeah, that will, that will hit. Okay. And that one's going to be 7 bludgeoning damage. Okay. It in and cracks it along your shoulder. Okay. Out of all, like, okay, so I know I know that swords and, like, spears, like, getting cut or getting pierced by a weapon, it hurts. Like, that's clear, but, like, for some reason, the visceral image of, like, getting smashed with a mace is so much worse Cringe. to me. Like, yeah. I don't know if that's just me, but... It's no, I'd rather get slashed than warhammered in the head. Yeah. yeah. Like, you have your skull. Yeah. Well, the difference is, you know, external wounds versus internal <laughs> wounds. Like, <laughs> one yeah. is definitely... I'd yeah. prefer none. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, the bandit captain is going to go, and he is focused on Eve, so he's going to have disadvantage on... Is it every attack, or is it the first attack? Every attack. Every attack. Okay. And is there a specific form that that takes? Yeah, so it's a, uh, a distracting pulse. Okay. Every time. Coming, actually, it comes technically off my armor, even though it's the gauntlets. Yeah. Gauntlets activated, I guess. So. Yeah, so you hit him with a gauntlet, and then, like, you got two. It's like, it's like Wonder Woman style. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. And the highest that he gets is a 14 to hit you. That misses. Okay. Yeah, so he just swings at you three times, and he's just, like, trying to shake his head a little bit, and he clearly sees that you're a little bit more than just a machine with a fist, so he, he's starting to rethink his uh, targeting values there. But, uh, yeah, Eve. Attack with longsword again. That is a 20 to hit. 20 will hit. For nine damage. Nine damage. Perfect. Okay, anything else you'd like to do? No, she just, just says, I'm... I will destroy you. <laughs> Into the melee brawl. Uh, the other wizard is going to go next. And he... <coughs> has a second wizard here. <laughs> and... There's a couple people right in front of him that he's a little scared of, so he's going to uh, look between the two, decide that the the uh, the uh, the blind man that's been hunched over and not really like it, he's not really too much of a threat. Uh, so Saradon is the winner, and that is going to be a twenty-three to hit you. Hits, and that is a let's see here. 
basically he quickly conjures up this little spray of acid uh, with his wand and thrusts it out okay. at you. So this is going to be... You take nine acid damage now, and then you will take some um, damage at the end of your turn as okay. well. So, yeah, so this big splash of acid, and the acid is remaining on you and, and like, eating away at your armor. And okay. So, not fun. All right, and then it's, sorry, it's, it's another thug. Uh, which thug is on the yeah, far? Green. green and blue. Uh, Thug Green is going to fire off a crossbow bolt and rolls a natural one. He kind of like tilts to try and hit Ezra and it just sticks right into the arrow. <laughs> so he has to like take the rest of his turn to yank it out and nice. everything. Fun. Good job, guys. And then it's Saradon. Okay. That's why you don't keep your finger she, on the trigger. Sarah starts to run up trigger safety, as though she's going to try and get up to Eve and bolt, but seeing that he's like whiffing and getting pummeled at the same time. She's like, oh, she's got this. And he's, <laughs> she's gonna run right up here. And, and as she's running up, she'll say, Victoria, stay close to me this time. And come right up here. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting worse. Actually, I'm gonna move to the middle because I've got a 10 foot reach. So, okay. um, and I will actually just cast darkness. Okay. Um, I'll just kind of look at Craggy and say, ah, we need a little help. And then as a bonus action, I'll just cast um, Hexblade's Curse okay. on, on uh, the wizard. The wizard. Yeah, you hear this kind of haunting melody as the choir of the Crag responds to you. And again, this darkness uh, yeah. <laughs> it was a, spreads here, out. Here. So I wanted to be 10 feet away. Starts but I won't. Around, which, <laughs> um, Another fun thing, another fun, like, sorry, factoid that I was thinking about when I was thinking about darkness is if I were to use darkness, it would be on a medallion rather than on my weapon mm. because it, there's just something hilarious to me about, like, the darkness moving every which way as you, like, swing your spear <laughs> around. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, I, what my original plan was was to, to cast it on, like, a coin mm -hmm. that I put in a lantern, Ooh. and then you can raise the shutter and the darkness comes out because if it's That's completely cool. covered, yeah. then there's no darkness. So you could sort of at will be like, oh, now you see me, now you don't. Awesome. But um, but yeah, it just made sense to to have it uh, and it, yeah, craggy, craggy yeah, and yeah. cast it on a nose ring. <laughs> <laughs> and it definitely doesn't, it definitely doesn't like move about like that. I mean, it, it does, it's writhing all, sure. at all times, but yeah. Cast on a tongue ring. Uh, and then you next up, you said it was green and what was the other one? Oh, you're fighting. Ah, Blue. It's creepy. <laughs> it's better for a barbarian, right? <laughs> well, I wrote Tug by accident, so that guy's name is Tug now. Tug. He's well, gonna Tug's try gonna die. His mom must have He's gonna try and fire too. a crossbow bolt at Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> that is a 12 to hit. Uh, I'm gonna use shield my reaction and just... Okay. Wait, 12 hits you? Yeah. You don't have major armor? No, because it's a new day and I haven't cast it yet. It's a new dawn. Oh, it's a new dear day. Dear. So that's a shield spell. Okay. Um, on. What's on the other side? Uh, red, white. Red and white. Uh, red is going to. Well, I can't see into the darkness, but he's going to try and just fire at something in there. Anyway. Okay. Disadvantage. Yep. Uh, that is a 14 to hit, Saradon. Miss. Okay. And then. Uh, and then out of, from behind this area, some more people come up. Uh -oh. Oh, Four crap. more figures are going to appear. I shouldn't have dropped my disguise. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get captured. No oh, way. Right yeah. there. A turtle. Ooh. Oh, and I can't kill more. a turtle. Oh That's God. literally against he's, Ezra's coat. He's he one of those snapping turtles. So. Oh, okay. Well, they're a little yeah. bit different. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fine line between turtle and what that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see. You've got... So five, ten, fifteen. This uh, dwarf that comes around the corner is going to run up and he's going to pull out a uh, smaller, lighter crossbow. And he's going to try oh, and shoot it at... I take acid damage. Oh, that's right. Thank you. 
Two acid damage. From, from what? From what? The from the splash. wizard. It was yeah, a it splash was, there. Oh, that and then an epic dice for being oh, honest about it. Thank you. Damage. That dwarf looks awesome, by the way. Thank you. That was uh, that was an old paint of mine. That was, was your first first uh, main paint. That you yeah. Uh, anyway, so two crossbow attacks at Eve. Mm-hmm. Actually, we'll do one at Eve, one at Bolt. Eve, that's a natural one. The crossbow, the bolt snaps on its way out of the uh, crossbow itself, and then. Uh, a 20 to hit Bolt. That hits. Okay. And take... Three piercing damage. Just a graze. Just a graze. And then what is the last thug? You said it was white? White. Yep. And that's another crossbow bolt heading into the darkness. We're going to say... I mean, he can't really tell, but... So we're going to randomize it. On one or two, it's you, sorry, and then on a three or four, it's Victor, and that'll be just regular because Victor. Well, no, Victor can see in darkness, can't mm, he? Yes, he can. But he can't see more than ten feet from him. So. That's true. Five, ten, yeah. But it is hitting Sari. Okay. And so I'll see. It's missing Sari. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, and then the uh, thugs back here. What did you label them with? Color um, You got purple and orange. Purple. Purple is closest to. No, they are both going next. Hmm. And that's going to be... They're going to come around and move up 30 feet towards you guys as well. We really need to have you scout ahead from now on. No more surprises. <laughs> we really need you to get to level 5 so you can fireball these things. I know. <laughs> and then uh, uh, they're both going to get advantage on their attacks because these thugs have pack tactics. Mm. Uh-huh. So one, two... Uh, Eve, and that is a... You say apparently, like it's a surprise to you. <laughs> apparently. It might be. 15. Oh. Okay. It's, more like, it's more like I wrote this encounter a while ago, and I totally forgot what I put in. <laughs> and then a 17 to bolt. Oh, that misses. Okay. No, so they, they still, you know, two shots, two we misses. Have, we both have shields. Yeah. You have a shield, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, and then it is Victor. Shield wall, we just connect them together. Yeah. I am going to, uh, seeing that Sari's moved forward and is spacing someone, I'm going to move forward 5, 10, okay. 15, and I will attack this person. Alrighty. No, you have advantage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, you have advantage. Sure wish my luck. I would stop turning off. Come on. Come on. Wake up. Uh-oh. There we go. Um... So I'm gonna make my attacks or attack singular with advantage. So that's a six and a six. Really? <laughs> so twelve to hit. Um, twelve does not hit. Okay. So I walk and up. And you see, like, you bring up your dagger and you scrape, and you can see this kind of uh, gray misty uh, armor. So I kind of sk- go up. You kind of sk- the cast mage armor. Scrape across, <laughs> and seeing this, I'll kind of, I'll kind of like look at him. Or whatever. Shame. Shame I'm gonna th- that <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I couldn't th- see the expression. Yeah. I'm gonna throw two daggers as my bonus action behind him. Okay. Just kind of into the dirt. Brilliant. And he, and he goes, <laughs> "You missed." I'm blind. <laughs> what can I say? How come those aren't painted yet? <laughs> I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> okay. Anything else that you like to do? Um. Nope. That's it. That's all I got. All right. Of course I missed. I'm blind. Can you blame me? There's a do I get portal double goes next. And he's he going to move 30 it. feet. Yeah, he, I mean, he he fully thinks he's blind. <laughs> I'm just getting flashbacks of you. there or in between the other two? <laughs> um, um, there's fine. I can't. <laughs> I, I can't hurt you. I'm confusing. <laughs> and then he is actually going to point at uh, Bolt and he says, so oh, he's probably a wizard. He's, he's just got muttering some, like, some sort of like <laughs> stop uh, motion. So I need you to make me a wisdom spell. counter spell. Your counter spell. No, I cannot. Wisdom save. Oh no, sorry. It's uh, well, no. You are a human. I technically because mm-hmm. you're not you're not a construct. Yeah, give me a wisdom save, please. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Eight. But you probably have like resistance for advantage to certain types Hold of on. magics, no? 
Oh wait, I can wait with my no. temporal awareness. I can wait for the result and Maybe then decide if I want to use it. Uh, how close do you have to be, by the way? That's a good question. And do you have to be within line? Well, so, so if it's a sleep thing, I can't be put to sleep by magic. Okay, it's not a sleep. Um, um, charm. Is it, um, thirty feet of me. Feet. Yeah. So sorry, never mind. I can't so you, you can be charmed. So it's yeah, not like an elf where you have like whatever resistance. Yep. Correct. Okay. Uh, well, you're not charmed, but you are paralyzed as your body just Ooh. seizes up. It seems like, it that's almost bad. seems like, like there's this little, like, all of the dust that's been collecting inside of you, all the spores and everything over the years just kind of suddenly flares up and mm. freezes you in place. I mean, that makes it sound like I don't Traitous. clean myself. And <laughs> I'm okay hiding. You did take a hot oil bath before we yeah. left. Yeah. So. <laughs> You've been on the road for nine days as well. So oh, that's, It was like uh, in well, Wizard of Oz when they're, like, so. buffing the yeah. Tin Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, you are effectively held. I think you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. Yeah. So you're paralyzed mm -hmm. at the start of your turn, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so would you go ahead and give me a saving throw? I don't think you can do anything when you're paralyzed. Is that right? Because you're you can. I think you can do bonus actions. Oddly, I can't okay. take actions or reactions. Yep, you can take bonus actions. Can't if you have a bonus action. Can trip or spell. Yeah, I'll do, a, I'll do a bonus action and activate my uh, armor's uh, feature to give me five extra or uh, extra each. Five times. Temp temporary yeah. hit points. Yes. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. That's very the, smart. Uh, awesome. Defensive field. I just uh, imagine it's like as soon as something happens, it reacts yeah, at the same time. Cool. Yep. Like, and then do you get to try and save out of it? At yes. The end? Yep. Like, yeah. So at the end of your turn, you yeah. can yeah. try and save four again. Temp HP. Hold the person. Mm -hmm. All right, that's not my sleep for that. Wisdom Lord, again, right? It's a nasty one. Uh, yes. 17. Yep, you you are saved out of it. So, yeah. so you freeze up, and like your armor reacts and just like shakes all of this dust and everything off of you, just like sonic you know like yeah. sonic shower right yeah and then you just start like shaking off and moving again nice okay and then that brings us back up to the top of the round oh boy that was uh all of round two Ezra, it's okay. your turn there's a uh there's a mace wielding a hole in front of yeah. you <laughs> say um you cragging idiot get away from me and i'm gonna cast sword burst so he needs to make a dex save dex save of oh, 15. He does make his save. Yep. Mm. That's a cantrip, huh? I'm gonna chromal shift. <laughs> I think okay. I can use it on myself. Uh, I think you can use it on enemies. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah any creature you can see, it, I just, okay, so the target must use the result of the second roll. So yeah, I'm gonna use it, make him roll again. He's gonna he see. does not make his save. Okay. Uh, so he's, he's like, nice. ah, and then all of a sudden like, his mace is down here, and he's just go, what? And we bring him back, and I'm like, let's try that again. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that is a nice three damage. Yes. <laughs> yes. Stupid cantrips. A little bit. Um, yeah. And then, gosh, I don't, I can't move really. So I'm, I'll move one, two up, so I'm not out of his space, okay. but kind of like skirt around a little bit. Uh -huh. You can even move one in if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. So just you can kind of, kind of behind him, but also I'm going to be looking this way. Yeah. Just actually, like hand I'm, not on sure, hand. I'm not sure. I think the other space would be better for line of sight on. You think uh, this one? Okay. Cool. Or not uh, yeah. Well, if this is totally shattered, not just a gap. Yeah. Then it all depends. But, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just stand there, kind of like arm on him, so I know where he's at, but also just surveying what's happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that'll be my turn. Perfect. Uh, then it is uh, his turn. He's just going to spin around and try and uh, double mace smack. You don't have shield anymore. Mm -hmm. And I use my uh, nine misses. I'm guessing. Yeah, right? nine misses. And you didn't mage armor this turn. Nope. So twenty one yeah. will hit. I mean, that's gonna hit me no matter what I guess. <laughs> so go ahead and take uh, four bludgeoning damage. Okay. That's manageable. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. <laughs> For now, <laughs> those fours add up. <laughs> okay. Uh, the captain is gonna go, and he's. Still going for Eve. Bolt was uh, not able to. He does not have disadvantage this time. Yeah. So two attacks. Way. First one is a twenty-four to hit. That will hit. Okay. I'll just roll the damage all together. Uh, then we have a nineteen to hit. That will also hit. And the dagger is a sixteen to hit. That will miss. Okay. Uh, so for the two attacks that do hit, you are going to take. 
16 bludgeoning damage as he <laughs> smashes you twice. Ow. Okay. How rude. And then he goes, don't worry about these two, just get up here and heal me. Oh. Interesting. And then, Eve, it is your turn. You won't have time to get healed. Actually, you probably will. <laughs> inspiration, inspiration. Yes, inspiration. Kay. I'm using it. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a three the two times. Oof. <laughs> All the other high rolls from the other games is catching up to us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he he, bonus he blocks it and he goes, he goes, you got a lot to learn, girl. <laughs> I can't believe you would call me girl. That's so rude and offensive. <laughs> She's not a girl, she's a lady. Actually, yes, let's do um, let's do for a bonus action. Instar- ensnaring strike. Uh, you actually have to cast that before you make an attack. Just kidding. You cast it now and, and then, then make an attack. And then next, next turn. turn. Yeah. No, okay. we're, we're, good. we're good. He's going to be dead before then. Mm, I like that. I like the way you think. Okay. <laughs> this, uh, this... Wizard is not liking being where he is. No. There's not much he can really do before he has to move away. So he is going to move out of your threatened areas. And that's uh, for... That's an opportunity attack. That's for uh, Victor as well. Yeah. Okay. So that's a 17 to hit. 17 will hit. Um, and can I use my inspiration on that? If you'd like to. Sure. Make sure you mark those off. Oh, and that's going to be. Nope, a that's a. You have you have 13. advantage on this attack as well. You didn't have oh, to I use did. inspiration. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's thirteen then. Yeah. For the hit, does it hit? Thirteen misses. Um, um, now you can use your inspiration can and roll another yes. advantage. Eight damage. If you eight want it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so far, I think my dice is angry. Different dice. The dice is angry today. Uh, so he's going to he's going to move out of your. This is the dice jail now. Uh, darkness the back this way or yeah. Okay. He's going to move back uh, behind the barricade, basically like here past the knives. And as soon as he's out of the darkness, he's going to stop moving, and then he is just going to he's going to kind of turn into this weird little like uh, fog mist, mm. and then he's going to misty step thirty feet. But hopefully, that should put him behind the line of everybody Over here. else. Oh, so right as soon as he here. gets out of the darkness, right? Yep. So he took one step back, so it's five. So I think it's five, and he's going to go thirty. 20. Yeah, he'll put he'll put himself right there, and he'll he'll reappear. And I believe that is a second like bonus action. Mm-hmm. Yep. Misty step is so he still has his action. But the only spell he could cast would be a cantrip. Uh, it only. I think you can if, cast multiple. If you first if, level spells, and I mean, it's your table, I, I so you do what so. you want. I, I just if you if you if you cast a spell as a bonus action, then the only the spell only you can cast as an action as a cantrip, well, and that yeah. will be that will be what he does. And I think we're gonna forgo Mage Hand here and do a Ray of Frost on Bolt instead. Oh no! I don't think that's gonna hit though. That's an eighteen to hit. This is okay. Nice. Yep. Uh, this kind of ray of frost smashes against your armor. You bring up your shield. It's nice and cool. Mm-hmm. My AC in this hot weather. Yeah. Uh, then Green Thug is going to fire off a crossbow bolt at Ezra. He has advantage. Penelope, if you're a god in disguise, now would be the best time <laughs> to show yourself. Uh, Twenty-two <laughs> to hit on that. Yeah. And that is. Two piercing damage. All right. And then it is Saradon's turn. Okay. I say, Vicky, you think you could help? You think you could help Ezra? I know I can. As I start running, five, ten. Take 15, my knives 20, with you. Twenty-five, thirty. <laughs> okay. And the darkness comes with me. Yes, it does. So it just—I mean, five, ten, fifteen. It'll cover some fifteen feet, including that guy right there. Yeah, we'll just do this. It's around all of them. Um, and I'm going to make an attack at the guard captain. Take his eye out. Okay. <clears throat> I'd appreciate it if you'd keep your hands off my friends. 
That's a 22 to hit. 22 will hit. Roll me some damage. Four. Um, that would be seven damage. Okay. And then I'll do um, the butt of my glaive. What action? That's a crit. That's two crits. Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's only... It's only one crit. I mean, it's so it's four plus... Um, three is seven, plus five is twelve damage. Twelve damage. Okay. Actually, I'm going to use one of my epic dice as well. So that's plus six, so 18, plus six, 24. Full. 24 damage. Awesome. Well done. And that's back to you. <coughs> He's looking very worse for wears. Again, like you kind of come in and you slice him a little bit uh, with your glaive, but then you just bring like the butt of it around. Yeah. And it seems like you're really good with the butt of your weapon <laughs> because I, I think you I hit with, with more butt. damage and take out more monsters than that. <laughs> you're good with the butt. That's it. And you, you crack them all. That's a t shirt. Twerking. <laughs> yeah, twerking Colby. Yeah. <laughs> Peach emoji t shirt. Hashtag good with the butt. Good with the butt. <laughs> oh dear. No. <laughs> uh, the blue thug is going to go next and. Uh, He's going to try and shoot at Victor, actually. And I believe he has an advantage on you because you have blind sight. That is the only reason that you have. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a 14 to hit. I believe it hits. 14? No. Nope, it doesn't hit. 15. Okay. Ooh. 15 yeah, you, you, not a 14. Tilt your head to the side and it just goes uh, sailing past here. Uh, and then you guys hear the uh, the the stamping of hooves. Mm. Oh, hell. Uh, what have we done? Yes, and Penelope. <laughs> Penelope roars. She's a fine steed. She's a nightmare. It's Einor doing <laughs> and the... And a figure the, appears the uh, farther down the long road <laughs> and makes his way up. And he's Ooh. actually he's actually charging up and you he's got his sword drawn and he comes down and he brings it down on uh, Purple Thug. Nice. Yay. Yay. You got a friend. It's me. Okay, so I cool. found you. You can pass him around. He's not totally finished painted yet, as nice. far as I got today. For, for <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That oh, looks good. That's a great head of hair. I like it. Glorious. And he is going to hit him with both attacks with his uh, with his long sword. It's really cool. What does a long sword do again? Is it one d ten? A d eight. Unless he's using two hands. Yeah, he, he has a shield. Or actually, he's got one hand on the reins. Technically, right now. Is he? You want him here or here? Uh, he's going to be on the left. Like he's passing by on the on the left of the field. Okay. Right. And that guy's going to take sixteen slashing damage from this trio or this duo of attacks, and then it's. And he and as he kind of like brings his horse around, he says, um, "He says, stand fast. House Greenwood is with you." And you can see, nice. you can see like the full crest on his like he, pinned to his cloak. You can see it on the shield and everything. And from out out of the middle of the darkness, he just hears, "It's about time." <laughs> <laughs> what foul beast is inside that darkness? <laughs> I don't answer. <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably a better idea. Uh, the, Sorry, it's just like, I don't know. You kill him and make dismiss it. Like, wow, he was like, doing weird, creepy. Uh, the red thug hits Victor for. That's a 20 to hit. Here. Yep, hits. And that's going to be 9 piercing damage. Okay. The. Uh, the dwarf is going to uh, spin and attack the knight. He's going to move up and attack the knight. Hmm. Uh, hits him once out of the two times. Oh, a piercing damage. Ouch. Ouch. You're on your own, he says, taking one piercing damage and running off. <laughs> no. 
are there more of you? Ah, no. My only weakness, pain. <laughs> <laughs> then that brings us to oh yeah, then purple and orange. They're going to turn around. Right? They're going to descend upon this uh, this knight that dares interrupt their bounty. Whatever they're doing. Oh, that's one. Hit. They may regret this just for fifteen gold. Two hits. Seriously. Fifteen gold or your life. Two hits and a crit. We're just going to do. Average. Seriously? Oh, Stop yeah. I've come so to bad. help you. Oh. <laughs> I am dead. And Thanks his for, twin brother comes out from behind <laughs> another tree. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for drawing that back. Right, uh, uh, yeah, no, time magic. He's definitely <laughs> like they they lay into him and they're they're basically surrounding him now. But he's he's trying to hold as fast as he can. Nice. Um, then it is slow. Victor. It is your turn. All right, I will call out to Ezra because these there's basically slits in these, right? Yes. Victor, get against or, no, <laughs> Ezra, get against the wall. They can't shoot as many arrows at us if they can't see you. And I'm going to come back. 5, 10, 15, 20. And I'm going to attack this guy. Actually, 25, 30. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. So I'm going to stand right here. Baggers. And I'll turn around. And is, what's this? This guy's wielding a mace? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, technically, you can get there. Have you ever heard the story of the Sandman and the Blackthorn? Let no. me tell it to you. And I'm going to call the two of them back. Okay. Yeah. okay. Awesome. Uh, so he has to do two dexterity saving throws. Yep. So. Uh, well, I believe. Uh, he does not make either of his saves. Okay, so. And I'm going to pour. Also, I need to point out that actually that the knight did parry one of those attacks using his reaction. Three. I forgot that he had that. Two. And I don't think there's a plus to that. So that's going to be five damage, and then I'm going to add on my accidental roll. Okay. That's a, and six more damage oh, on nice. those for this the, for that for the bonus action, yeah. and then I'm going to make an attack. It's a one. I'm going to use an inspiration because I don't want it to <laughs> completely fail. Because you didn't use the last one, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> so Victor just. Okay. That, he stops at that. He thinks he's going to nope. do another attack. I'm going to just like, oh. do a little <laughs> rewind for you. Try that again, Victor. It is not my day, apparently. You've activated my trap card. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 12 to hit? A 12 will hit. Okay, yeah. finally. Yep. Good job. Sneak so, attack. 1d4, and then my sneak attack. Sneak attack. I'm just going to roll the d6 over here just for ease of whatever. 3, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so Sneak both attack. of your daggers hit his shoulders, <laughs> and then uh, your blade comes around right up through his. Uh, through At the his very skin. end, there's a very nice song. <laughs> Ooh. And he collapses. Good job. Nice. First blood. Oh. And yes, Thank you, first. Ezra. That was good. Uh, yes. Tear. Knowledge of my father, or whoever had the spell in the book. That was much better than I would have done on my own. Oh, shoot. So that was Victor's turn. Mm -hmm. So it's the uh, turtle next. And he's going to run blindly into the darkness, feeling around for his companion. La! <laughs> and he is going to cast Cure Wounds at the second level. This is the part where Sere makes him disappear. Actually, yeah, when he moves into range, I'm going to make an attack oh, yeah. on him. Oh, because you have Sentinel? Uh, it's Polar Master. Polar Master. Yeah. Um, Eat him. Yeah. And that is a 21 to hit. 21 will hit. You're just like the glaive right between Victor's legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Victor. Sorry. Everyone's Victor. Everybody's Victor tonight. Everybody's Everybody's Victor. Victor tonight. <laughs> That's, That's the title of the episode. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> Victor. We're all Victor. We will be victorious. The one where we're uh, all he's, still, he's still alive, so he will continue with his plan to uh, heal the bandit captain. And he heals for... Is this yours? This I yours. rolled it. Yeah, I'm done. That was... And that turtles. Cure, cure wounds is a <laughs> act. 
action. So he is done. I don't think he can do anything else. That's an action. Yeah. It, yeah. So he just runs up and he just like places his hand. You can see kind of these these uh, tendrils of green energy just flowing into the bandit captain, healing him up. And he goes, <sighs> round two. We can't see anything. It's darkness. Oh, yeah, so nobody can see it. Uh, <laughs> it's a great yeah, deer, yeah. and if I could see it, it was amazing. Uh, Bolt, it is your turn. Well, since the turtle screwed up what I was going to do, I was going to go around. Uh-huh. I'm going to go the other way and okay. try to skirt around the bandit captain. All right. So I will be leaving the turtles. Well, he can't range. see you, so. Yeah. Unlo- you yeah. have to be, you have to see somebody. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, do Thunder Wave. Oh, nice. And that here. should. And I hit everyone except for the knight. Nice. Nice. So they must make a Constitution saving throw of thirteen. Uh, success fail from the thugs, and then the dwarf goes, and he critically failed. Hmm. So two hit one. Uh, succeeded. So they take um, 13 damage 13. or half on a success and if they succeeded they're not pushed but otherwise they are pushed 10 feet away from me. Okay so purple was the one that made his save. So he's just going to take half. And I was kind of hoping that like I could run out and basically do the ground stomp and the, the wave of uh, sound and force comes out and smashes. And I was trying to hope to get them smashed into the to the night and maybe tangled up or knocked prone or something. Okay, uh, I'll go ahead and roll some dexterity saves for the two. So he's back. pushed that way, and then the dwarf is pushed okay. into the night, right? The horse yep. rears up and just... <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, the, the, the dwarf rolled a critical failure, so I'll just say that he is knocked prone. Yay. Yep. And then the other one, uh, he's also knocked prone. All right. Not usually something that happens with Thunderwave, but we have fun. We have fun. We have fun. We hope that we have fun. with friends. Fun with um, friends. And that is all I am doing. Killing people together. Mm-hmm. Aww. <laughs> I know they call out a troll, no, I'm just kidding. They're not going to call out a troll. Ezra. Okay. I'm going to... can't really see anything. There's a black cloud. I'm going to just move... And I know there's people shooting at me, so I'm just gonna turn right there so I can at least see them now. Okay, yeah. And I'm just gonna <laughs> magic missile. Pew. So we'll shoot three at uh, which color? Just the one right in front. I'll just blue. Yeah. Green? Tug. Um, yes, tug. tug. Yeah. And I'm gonna just all three so darts. So here's something interesting that I heard. Uh, according to everyone's favorite uh, person, Jeremy Crawford, um, magic roll missile you once. roll once and use that for the same. Uh, missile damage. JC. Okay. Is that how you want to do it? I'll roll I, it that way I, if you want. I don't know. <laughs> Depends on what you roll. Because <laughs> if I roll a one, I want to roll the other two. <laughs> but if I roll a four, then yeah, that's fine yeah. by me. Let's just don't roll them all just okay. for the sake of. Okay. Because it's, it's more fun nice. to roll dice. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I just I just thought it was that's, interesting because there's weird things that like it could go either damage. way, right? If you uh, if you if you get like if you ha- if you're like an evocation wizard and you yeah. have well you know because you edited my video. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it can did I hear that on your video? The, the, if you watched my video was. last week, I did. I mean, I I was half paying attention because I was doing something for work, but I did watch your video. Animate objects that um, the same thing. So that's 11 damage. Around. 11 damage, okay. So I'll just shoot some little finger guns out of him. He cries out as these like streaks of orange energy just uh, smashing at him. Okay. And Is there anything else that you'd like to do? I use all my movement. So yeah, I'll just stay there. All right. Uh, the bandit captain is going next. Um, he's still, he's in the darkness. He can't see. Oh, look, he's got blind sight suddenly. He <laughs> switches his eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> it's an all white, milky no, eyes. No, no, no. We, we were joking about that. I'm like, I'm going to start wearing an eye patch, and then every time Sari runs up with darkness, I just flip it over to the other side, and I can, I can see it. <laughs> uh, so the first attack with the disadvantage is going to be an 18 to hit. Mm. Sorry. That is my AC. Okay. We'll the other two here, just in case. Uh, 15. 
And then a 19. So the dagger hits as well. So you're going to take 8 bludgeoning damage and then 5 piercing damage. 13. We didn't mention this at the start of the episode, but everybody's level 4 now. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So the ability increases. You picked up elven accuracy. You switched out your fighting style to blind fighting. And I think that's about it. I don't think anybody else picked up a feat. I think you guys all just Anyone else boosted the abilities. Uh-huh. Yep, the abilities go increase. Okay. Moving on. Eve, it is your turn to respond. Well, Evie is ouchy. And so I will cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. I said the first level. Uh, that's all I have. So, yes. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm confusing how it is for hills. Myself. Ten heals. Okay. Yes. I really wanted to poke his eye out. Yeah, so you kind of like take a moment to bring up your uh, sword defensively. Uh, you can, like, being in darkness, like, now being able to, like, see and, like, hear and everything like that, mm-hmm. you can feel, you can feel the claw, like, kind of moving through yes. you as if, like, you're in your element now and it kind of reinvigorates you. I love it. And then we've got the wizard who is. He's on. He's in the darkness. Still. He's in the darkness still. Yes. He can lean his head out. <laughs> Hello. Uh, we'll say that we, he will have to move again. So he'll he'll move away from Bolt, which Bolt is still in the darkness. So he, he doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Watch so. He's just going right there. Right there. Yep. Next is fallen comrade. Yeah, and he is going to. Um, he's going to be like, get up, get up, quick. This is getting, this deal is getting worse all the time, you know. Uh, and then he is going to just, he's going to cast another acid arrow, but at the night this time. So we're going to try. Uh, he actually misses the knight with the acid arrows, though. So the knight is only going to take half this damage. Squirrel in the tree. As he brings, the knight brings up his, uh, or kind of turns his body, because he doesn't really have the shield on him right now, but he turns his body to face the shield. Nice this is the wizard giving us. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then the green thug, which I believe is uh, line of sight for Ezra still. Mm-hmm. Nope, it's only a seven to hit. Dang. <clears throat> I didn't listen to Victor. I didn't go up against the fence. <laughs> I just was like, hey. Uh, and then it's Ceridon. Okay. <laughs> Ceridon is you didn't do your little very <laughs> angry. <laughs> and she just she steps up and her voice actually gets a little deeper. And she's just like almost like she's hoarse from Yeah, screaming exactly. From at screaming at a basketball game now. She's just like <laughs> I warned you not to touch her. Ooh. Darkness I- consume you. And the, the choir of the crag is definitely in that like yeah Gregorian oh. like deep chant like um uh, from yeah. Hunchback of Notre Dame uh, Fro- like Frollo yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah like it's definitely Ugh, he is the creepiest yep. Disney and, character and the people basically. chanting around him are creepy as well yeah <laughs> yeah so that's an eighteen to hit. eighteen will hit okay for ten damage ten? okay smoke him and then butt action. Um, that's not a critical. So close. If I had my, I should have saved Hexblade's curse for him. Uh, higher. 26. Okay, that'll hit. For... Obvious. And I think... No, I'm gonna save it. Um, that's another... Mm, six, no, seven damage. Seven damage, okay. Definitely looking hurt again. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour this epic die in to see if I can finish him with four more damage. Okay. Uh, how would you like to finish yes! Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just that like, butt action? Uh, you know, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah it was. Eye out. No, no, I'm right. just like, <laughs> darkness consume you. And I just take a slash with the glaive and then come around and just hit him right in the, in the head. And I want him to just like, like, like vanish into the, into okay. the darkness. Like yeah. be consumed. Brings him apart. Yep. Yeah, Black definitely like spec- it, it, it knocks him unconscious and before he can fall back into bolt the, the darkness has picked him up and Eve you can actually like 
you you can't see it clearly because obviously like you don't have that kind of blind sight. But you can you can hear and and get a good idea of like this wrenching as it like rips him to pieces and pulls him. <laughs> and well, he's basically he's drawn changing. and quartered inside the darkness. <laughs> okay, and then it's Eve's turn. It is. No, no, wait, no. Sorry, I was like that was fast. I, I, I cleared, I cleared him out of there, and then it was Eve right after him. So I thought that that's where I we're mean, at. I'll take it. But yeah. Yeah. is there anything else that Sarah and I would like to do, or is she um, happy where she is? She's going to just move, actually, up one, two, so keeping Eve in the darkness still, but getting the wizard back in it. Damn it! This again. Say. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, friend? Creepy. Yeah, he's definitely running now. Um, I, might, I might have to reevaluate my traveling partners. <laughs> uh, Sorry, leave the book. Don't eat it. <laughs> uh, the book is on the ground, actually, Ooh. in front of the barricade. I'm gonna. Fat it wasn't that. destroyed in the uh, <laughs> sticky shadow. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, Tug can only get a five on Ezra. Okay. And he's looking a little shaken at this point. Definitely not uh, more than he, or definitely more than he bargained for. As he heard his, uh, I mean, everybody heard squelching sounds. Nobody heard him <laughs> scream because he was already knocked unconscious or knocked dead, whatever. One, one or the eviscerated. other. Eviscerated. He was eviscerated. Yeah. And then the knight is going to go. And he's actually going to. See, let's see. He can't really use that because nobody is. He's not able to see anybody, so he's going to, like any ally. So he's just going to make two attacks. Just um, um, he's going to. He's just going to stab down as he wants. See Ezra. Well, yeah, but his his thing is like a. It's it's a full action for this leadership thing, and it's not worth it right now. So, he's going to make uh, two attacks on Either the dwarf. That, you're not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> he's not your leader anyway. Ezra has been told that all his life. Oh. He's used to it. Heart break. <laughs> well, you can't play D anD D without a tragic backstory, so <laughs> everybody knows that. That's rule one on one. So he he kind of slides down on the horse sure. a little bit, and he slashes uh, the dwarf who doesn't get back up. Correct. Nice. Wait, was it correct? It was disadvantage. It was just it was just advantage. Yeah. Right. Something you know, incapacitated. And then, and then because the other one next to him is also prone, he's going to attack that one. And he goes, well played, Construct. As he does hit that one as well. <laughs> My name or... is Bolt. <laughs> well played, Bolt. Yeah, that's that's better. Six damage. That's <laughs> better. You say they call you a keg golem. Or one of the... <laughs> I didn't know that the beer golems could do that. <laughs> we'll have a hearty brew be... after this. Meat stead must be downsizing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the red thug is going to fire off at... Uh, well, they just Victor. feel. They just feel. By the way, holding with the, just for sake, just for story's yeah. sake, Einor has been backing up this entire time. As soon as the combat started, <laughs> she's been like pulling on Penelope. Oh, right? Back it up. Back it up. Twelve to hit Victor does not. Hit I do Victor. not know these people. They're really weird. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. But then capture me and make me cook for them. Yeah. yeah. So you you dodge out of the way of one of them, but the other one is uh, striking at the same time and hits you for four piercing damage. Okay. The purple thug is going to spin around and try and slash at the knight. That is one hit and a crit. Wow, jeez, he's going to be great against the knight. Uh, and then. Orange is going to stand up and try and slash at the knight as well. And another crit. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, they, they're definitely like pummeling him, and he definitely looks really hurt at this point. No wonder the long road isn't safe anymore. But he <laughs> he does spit out a bit of blood and he goes, he goes, I will you're definitely not part barred. <laughs> Maybe in another life. That's just, that's just Tori. Says, I can do this all day. I can do this all day, yeah. Uh, Victor, <laughs> it is your turn. Right. Uh, how tall America. are these barricades? Captain Green. Eight feet. 
Would I, so would I be able to, to jump up, climb over, and attack with, this guy? With a successful acrobatics check. Sure. Or athletics. That's acrobatics. The same. That is a 13. Yeah, it's really easy to like scale your way up. You can even like bring up your your daggers and, and grab onto them, or just be careful off the top. Yeah. And then, the and then I just want to just again, I'm gonna just jump down and try and just like tackle. I'll go ahead and give you guy. advantage on this. This is a uh, this yeah. is an interesting uh, cool. maneuver. You have the high ground. You do have the high. I've ground. I've got the high ground out again. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one will hit. And I'm not in range with anybody, so it's just a one d four. That's five damage. Uh, no, you had advantage on the attack, but you can also roll. I did roll advantage. Yeah, but yeah. you get sneak you if get you sneak have advantage on the attack. Oh, so you duh, could have duh. sneak. Yeah. Sorry, I I didn't realize what you're yeah. referring to. So. Uh, seven additional damage. Seven plus, that. uh, you said it was five? Four, five, yes. Five, so twelve. 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 Pretty good. It's awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah, you come down with Shadow Song, kind of, uh, slice him in the arm a little bit. He drops his crossbow in the process. He's got to pull out his, uh, mace. Okay. As well. And I want to, um, if I don't have enough movement from that, I will use my bonus action to dash. Okay. And I'm going to move around to the other side of here so this guy can't shoot without disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Basically engaging both of me like, well, there you played. go. Smart. Would you like to dance? Perfect. And then you still have a bonus action. Oh, you use that to dash, right? That was using my dash to move. Yeah. Victor is so smart. Victor is smart. And now it is the turtle's turn who is suddenly looking around and not seeing anything. He is going to, he's going to make a break for it. Okay. So he's gonna run. He's gonna run this way. Yeah, His morale. Attack again. Okay. Eve can also. No, Eve isn't closer. So once he no, gets no. to here, here he'll yeah. be out of the darkness. Okay. That was a. What does he do from there? Does he still run? That that's a sixteen to hit. A uh, sixteen does not hit. You scrape one the shell. Natural armor. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as he as soon as he gets there, he is going to take his uh, the rest of his turn. And he is going to, um, how, how much movement did he have left? So he went, uh, well, he, he was here. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. So he's got uh, two more squares after this. Okay, so he actually has uh, four more squares after this because he uses his action to uh, shapeshift himself into a rabbit that looks like it has a turtle shell on its back. Mm. And he starts uh, he starts running uh, more, like bounding away. Perfect. Once he gets out of the, uh, the map, <laughs> that everyone can see. <laughs> he's gone. And then he's out of the world. And then we're going turtle hunting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Bolt, it is your turn. Turtle hunt. Gonna catch a big one. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and not move scared. forward. One, two, three, uh, four. Okay, uh, the wizard can't see you, so he can't make an opportunity attack. No. This dwarf is dead, is that right? The dwarf is dead. Is he dead? Yes. Okay. Yep, he's dead. This dwarf. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Uh, as I'm as I just come barreling out of the darkness, I just want to just lay into orange. Orange, okay. yeah. Which did he stand up? He stood up. Yeah, good. good. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, no, nah, I'm fine attacking the knight from down here. <laughs> so that is a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty will hit. Six damage. Six damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, you definitely like clock him across the jaw. Um, he's got disadvantage now. Moving on to the top of the ground, Ezra. Okay, I'm just gonna magic missile again. Okay. Um, and this is on. We were I'm gonna try two on that guy. And, well, let me just try one first and see if that's enough to take. Who him did off. you attack last time? The Blue. guy right in front. Blue. Yeah. I, I can't see the colors from where I'm at, but the one Blue, directly yeah. in front of me. And then I, green. I did, the wrong, wrong. I did the wrong one that last time. My apologies. Uh, Victor attacked green. Ezra's Do you remember the damage? Um, I think it was 12. I think it was 12. I think it was, 12. I think it was 67. <laughs> Pretty sure. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. okay. Um, so, <laughs> two damage. Two damage to the one in front of you? Yeah. Okay. Yep, he is still up. Okay. I'll do the other dart. That's uh, four damage. Uh, he's still up. Okay. And the final one, five damage. He is still up, but he's definitely looking really hurt. Okay. Um, yeah. Now that I have movement, though, I'm going to go back on this side of the wall. Yoink. Kink. And just crouch right up. So you just come around and you're just like, 
Ah! Ah! <laughs> you just fall on like and the boy, you did the well. And then you slide back around the wall. Yeah. Great job. And Tug is Tug is like just kind of like teeter tottering. <laughs> This is not a good job. <laughs> My brain is hurting. I'm running out of spell slots. <laughs> I'm tired. Eve will... How many guys do we have left here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are they all men? Eight. Hmm? All men? Uh, Eight and I mean, one, there's, is, there's, one is running away. There's a smattering. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to cast Bless. Ooh. On Sari and Bolt. And I don't think I can reach Victor. Be 30 feet? Less. Probably not unless you moved. Then. You can move first if you like. Let's move first so that I. Oh. Uh, what's the range on it? Is it 30 feet? Well, you'd have 30 to feet. see him too, right? Five. So 10, you'd have to move that way. 15. To see Bolt. Because you have darkness in front of him. She's got blind fighting though. I don't know. I don't know what the exact wording of blind fighting is. I wonder if. Here's the thing: is when that you cast it, bless, as I'm reading it, it, do, it doesn't. It says they're within range. It doesn't say. It doesn't say you, you have see, to see them. It doesn't say creatures that you can see within range. It says you bless up to three creatures of your choice within range. Yeah. Oh, so, cool. Even better. Yeah. Does that work? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, maybe move like here. That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Okay. Yeah, starfall. So, yes, I just. So, Sari, Put my hand Ezra, out. and, and those... Victor, is that it? Yep. Bolt. Bolt. Uh, Bolt. 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 How many? Three. Bolt. Yeah, three. Yeah. So, so it's just a plus, a plus more beneficial to you. Plus D4 to attacks. Yeah, it's way more beneficial. D4 to attacks. And, and saves. Save and throws. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. That will be my turn. Again, Do you want to Eve is looking move very back hurt. into the darkness? Uh, yeah. Okay. Eve is looking very hurt, but she still manages to kind of what conjure does, up. What's Bless do again? Add so, the d4 to your attack rolls and saving throws. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Not damage, attack. Yes. Okay. So you manage to conjure up these like faint little spirits of uh, the trio themselves, you know, like r- little representations of them. Uh, Victor gets the snake, and, or however you want to divvy that out, of course. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> snake for <Payback>. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Talent. Foreshadowing. Ooh. Claw. <laughs> Is it post shadowing? Post shadowing. Post shadowing. <laughs> and then it is the wizard. There's some turn. there's some spikes that go. Oh, yeah. And now Scotland. you are Wolverine. <laughs> this is the button that you click to activate his Wolverine claws. <laughs> but they're only like that long. <laughs> more like saber tooth. <laughs> I was just thinking more just like long like nose. brass Aww. knuckles with the the goth spikes. Yes, <laughs> totally. <laughs> And then uh, this this wizard is going to turn around, and he's just kind of looking around, um, and he's like, "I don't know where you are, but you'll pay for what you did to Skaven." And he's going to kind of arc his hands out, and this arced lightning is going to start like forming and lashing out. He's going to, and he shouts, "Unlimited power!" <laughs> <laughs> Who the wizard? The wizard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a an eighteen to hit Saradon. Hits. Okay. Uh, so this is a level two witch bolt okay. that he is casting. So he's now concentrating by these guys who want to throw it. Yeah. Okay. Witch bolt. And that is a thirteen. That's thirteen lightning damage. Okay. Oh snap! Okay. To calm down. Are you concentrating with me? Mm-mm. Okay. And, and oh, I am. I have to make a save. Uh, Does bless oh, concentration? Yeah. Um, yes, it is. Yeah. But you get a d4? You do you get a d4. So I'm good. That's a. That's oh, a actually, no, it's, he won't be concentrating. Wait, actually, did that take out your spell? It did or? not. It did not. So uh, the wizard won't be concentrating because. Uh, Witch Bolt specifically says that the spell ends if you use your action to do anything else. It also ends if the target is ever outside the spell's range or if it has total cover from you. Which, mm. technically, darkness provides total cover, if I remember correctly. I think so. Yeah. It's, I mean, if you can't... Get at us in the comments. If it doesn't, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> he, well. he definitely, like, he, he just, like, lashes out randomly with lightning. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, God. <laughs> is that what his hands look like? Ooh. Yeah, I mean... I just, I, I, I just say, I just say, 
I, I actually say, you missed. Even though my like smoke coming off the top of my scalp. <laughs> Dinner deeper voice is yeah, exactly. like uh, That's the, the same smell that uh, the shard oh. gave you. That kind of burnt smell yeah. after that ozone. burnt smell of ozone. Mm. Yeah. Just a little fun fact. Uh, the, the green thug is going to try and uh, double mace to the face on Victor, and he's within five feet of a uh, yep of an ally, right? Because he have to take the bonus uh, action. He, I am in five feet of an ally of his ally. Yeah, <laughs> and he has pack tactics. Yeah, he has, yeah. <laughs> so the first one's a crit, and that's not a joke. The first one is a crit. Oh no! Okay. Uh oh. Uh, so we'll get to the damage here in just a moment. Yeah, I guess that uh, the second one is a complete whiff too. So yeah. The highs and lows Victor, of being random thug <laughs> green. Not die. Just take a nap. Take a nap. Uh, you're gonna take twelve <gasps> bludgeoning. <gasps> Oof. It's a, oh boy. It's a pain nap. <laughs> Surprise nap. I you didn't got? see that one coming. You live still? I have two hit points. <laughs> I'll just have to hit you harder. Ah, the tug, help me with this guy. Sad. That's uh, but Ceridon, that's your turn. Okay. Don't take more than that to kill me. I'm going to say, was, um, was that ugly, one-eyed... <laughs> was, that, <laughs> was that ugly, one-eyed rat man a friend of yours? Um, that's a 19 to hit. A 19 will hit. Um, you can get his feelings as well. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be for nice. Uh, 14 damage. 14 damage? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then. Um, as you basically like slice, you, you just shatter that, uh, shed right through the armor, and you oh. crit on the second one? Yes, and I'm sorry, plus two, because he's got my Hexblade's curse on him. Yeah. So plus two more okay. for that first attack. Then this one is a crit. Okay, well, um, he only has two hit points. Left, okay, so. <laughs> then I'm gonna roll it anyway because it's like a lot of damage. Yeah, it's so like once again, ten. you slice, you kind of cut Actually, open his gut, and then four. your second, like as he like hunches Eight. over, your second one ten. just smashes into his temple for how much? Fifteen damage. Fifteen damage. Nice. And he just he just crumples, and the, his lower half is outside of the darkness, but the upper half is definitely gone. Do you Obi Wan <laughs> Kenobi him? You hit, he just got ropes. Like, yeah, exactly. It's just like the darkness is just. Like eating away and destroying. And I actually oh, heal because he oh. had my Hexblade's curse on oh, him. Oh, nice. nice. That is nice. I but it's you're getting it. real creepy. The dark side is a pathway to me. And me. then I'm actually <laughs> going to. Um, Some would. I'm, I'm just going to say, um, Eve, are you all right? Yes. I'm not going to let that turtle get away. Go get him. Five. Going on a turtle hunt. You just start running and see this. Gonna uh, catch the, a the little dark bunny one. <laughs> So I can't hit him, obviously. I don't have the <laughs> monster. But he is within reach. His shell. Yes. So if he, if he continues running. <laughs> I just imagine the turtle running through the woods and hears this. Ch -ch 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 I just imagine <laughs> then Kevin from the office. Sarah comes stepping through. <laughs> he had a really eventful <laughs> summer. It, it uh, lets out a tiny little bunny turtle shriek. Uh, Tug is going to be like. You're on your own, and he's gonna run too. Um, oh. If you like me, I will. Cowards, stay here and die like a man. <laughs> That's going to be a total of eighteen to hit. Eighteen will hit. I didn't say you could leave. That's a four eight damage. Eight damage. Uh, you slice him in the hamstring, and he's hobbling away, but he is still hobbling. Cheer. <laughs> <laughs> Come back when you're older. These guys are tanky. Which way is he going? Uh, he's going towards you. 15, he's, 20, uh, he, he 30. He can go 30 and then he can go another 30, so he's off the board. 30, 30. Uh, uh, yep, we can follow his blood trail oh, later. he got away. I'll find him, I can smell him. You know, <laughs> there's a reason why Taste his the blood. party is. <laughs> he's on a wanted list. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these are thugs. If you don't let them live to tell the tale, you this, aren't this wanted. Guy, this guy was chasing them too. Kill all the witnesses. Uh, the knight is actually his turn, speaking of this guy. And he's just going to try and slice it. To, I think there's purple and orange left, right? Mm hmm. Uh, he's going to try and slice it orange first. Because he has DM knowledge. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Metagamer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and 
and he's going to hit. I think we've had enough time in this combat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so he takes he he comes back and he long swords and just lops Orange's head off, and then comes around. For good move. And uh, just completely misses the other one. <laughs> nice. And you can see, like, and as he does so, he's like coughs up a bit more blood and then spits it out of his mouth. And he's like, "Oh, I'm getting too old for this, and oh. I'm only 25." Yeah. No, he's not 25. That's not canon. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know his age yet. Uh, Red is going to make a break for it. They, they are crumbling. Seeing the wizard. Ah! Where are the other? Okay. He can make it off the map with dash. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure. Bye bye. And, and white <clears throat> is going to do the same thing. We'll gonna Get back here. Uh, take off. Uh, you bags of XP. Uh, purple is going to. If you to run move. away, we still get your experience points. <laughs> <laughs> I shout as they run. The night, but none of the uh, loot. Dang it. <laughs> and rolls horribly now that uh, he doesn't have advantage. So he does nothing. Victor, it is your turn. I don't think. Remind me. So I used one of my uh, the healing potions when we were in that town. Did we all get one healing potion or no? After you got back from Hollow Bend, I think no, a couple of us did. There was only two healing potions from our loot pile. Yeah. Okay. 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 I wanted to take okay. one. So I don't. If that's cool with so you guys. Okay. I, have, I have a zero on mine. Um, I have one. You got that. Yeah. I am used. going. I guess I will. Um, Use my bonus action Finish him. to. Uh, I have to remember the defensive flourish thing. Okay. Um, uh, you you throw the knives out, and then if they're within five feet of you, they'll reduce damage. I'm gonna throw two of them out. Not that they're actually gonna do anything. I'll throw the two of them out, um, and I'll say, "Clinch, no, protect me." I'll throw these down, and then I'm gonna make my attack with my shadow song. Okay. So that. It is not going to hit. That's going to be a 11. 11 will hit. Ooh, I hit. Cool. Never mind. That's a 4, 8 damage. 8 damage, okay. And um, I'll call around the corner. Ezra, I don't feel so good. If you could finish him. <laughs> Sounds like Steve. That'd be great. Sounds like Steve Carell from uh, <laughs> Groove. Yeah, really Groove. Right. That's, I've thought that multiple times. Yeah. Uh, this is a recording. thing. Coral. <laughs> There's your tiny toilet. Um, so Wait, the wrong character. The turtle <laughs> is, is going to go next and he's he's going to dash and try and run. Oh, you want to give yes, me your attack? Is. Stomp his shell. So that's a crit. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Kill um, him. So that's 10 <laughs> plus You're going to kill him twice. Die. 16, so 21, 21 damage. He is still alive. What? <laughs> so happens when you try to kill that's, cuteness. He's got 30 hit points. More than 30 hit points. <laughs> he turns around and has right. these big... And then he, he he's going to run 60 feet. Oh, but actually... You can do two. Uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's uh, a reaction. It's 80 feet that he moves off. Is he... Did he... Go shapeshift back. No, he's still. He's still bunny. He's still. Oh, that's right. Shapeshift does. He'll go he'll revert. Yeah, back, no, right? he'll revert back. Yeah, so he reverts back and stumbles and just starts like running. <laughs> and I think his what is his normal speed. It is thirty feet. Yeah, so he can only go sixty feet, but he does he's make it into the woods. I'll so. tell you my fortune. The woods. It's time to go. <laughs> that's what he's. That's what he's mumbling to himself <laughs> in a panic. Into the don't mess with that unnamed go. group that I can't tell anybody about because yeah. I don't have yeah. a name. <laughs> into the thick of it. We really need to uh, amend that, don't we? Yeah. We uh, and then RP it's chat time. homework for this week. Yeah. Whose turn? Oh, I hear you. Um, Kill gonna, the man on the horse. More I'm actually just going to uh, reach out <laughs> just and touch your face. <laughs> <laughs> is that the guy's name? This is the musical episode. Yes, that is fake. Uh, <laughs> and uh, lay my hands on him and say. Uh, Thank you for your help, friend. And I'm gonna do cure wounds. Okay. Oh, very nice. I Bolt's a good guy. Or a good angel. thing. <laughs> thing. <laughs> good thing. Bolt's a good person. Day. No, good person. Uh, good, construct. Good. What are you? Uh. Yeah. Are they <laughs> He's a good. Are they constructs? Humanoid. They're not really constructs. Huh? Like you can still call person. Good person. Good humanoid. You go more first. Uh, five. Five. Five, five HP. Yeah, being lacrum. He takes kind of a deep breath and he goes, "Thank you." Uh, was much needed. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move up just to give him another target. They're like, hey. Okay, sounds good. Eve, it is your turn. And, I, and I, I guess I do say that there's a reason why 
half of our party is wanted. As I run up to the guy. <laughs> okay, the knight will hear that. He's like, uh, what? Excuse me? Yeah. You remember I healed you. Bolt. <laughs> uh, I have no doubt. Are, are you lawful good? Uh, actually, I'm probably like true neutral. Okay. Scott doesn't play lawful. Eve um, <laughs> will move to Victor. Can I get to him? I think um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. And Victor's got his back. He's down on one knee. He's huffing and puffing. She will. Give you lay I'll do lay on hands. Just comes in with the shoulder rub. <laughs> <laughs> like hard day, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> or, Imagine it's payback, she just slaps me in the back there. Yeah. Get up. <laughs> How bad are you? Let's give you He's bad. Let's give you a On a scale of, of zero to whatever your max HP you is. Get 20 <laughs> Blood out of every orifice. 20. Eyes are bleeding. Twenty, 20 hit points. Holy crap. Full lay on hands. It is, it is very handy. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say here. Victor, Victor just stands up. I could do this all day. Sarah kind of a good looks massage. over and gets jealous. <laughs> As a thank you for teaching me to fight in the dark. Are you going to run now? I'm looking at the. Uh, go ahead and roll me an intimidation check, would you? That's a two. Um, no, my. I don't think my. The guy says, not on your life. And then he's going to try and attack you twice on your life. Okay. On your life. So the first one is a 13 to hit. Doesn't hit. And the second one is a 20 to hit. Yes, hits. Okay. So but your daggers. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to reduce the damage of my daggers. Okay. What's the total damage you reduce? Two. Two? Because uh, the bonus action only does one at a time, I assume, right? Yes. Yeah, so two. Well, then you take one bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> As your knife comes up and, yeah, like, just deflects it at the last moment. Uh, and then it is Cyrodon's turn. Okay. Oh, are you, are, are, if you would like to try and continue to hunt this portal, you can. That will be he moved 60 feet? He moved 60 feet, yes. I cast Misty Step. Okay. As a bonus action? As a bonus action, which will let me go 30 feet. Uh-huh. Awesome. And then I can move 30 more feet. Okay. So. Uh, go ahead and just give me a perception check, because you didn't okay. move into the woods. That is a natural 20. Yeah. Uh, you see him, you see him like nice. around around the corner, uh, Frodo versus the ring race style. <laughs> he's behind a tree, but you can still see him. <laughs> 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 hey, he's, definitely, he's definitely panting as like the darkness slowly surrounds the tree yeah, and, and, and I just him. say and he just lets out a scream in, in my <laughs> story we just hear her scream in and, the woods and I just say in my Giants. story neither the tortoise nor the hare wins Ooh, oh, the mushrooms. and make an attack Ooh, that's not a very good attack um that's right, you have a action. a three a four <laughs> and a five <laughs> <laughs> plus three is eight plus seven is fifteen fifteen no it's like uh, cat and mouse. He'd and, be and he and he he like dive, ducks out of the way and slams into <laughs> the tree. Like, baiting goats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls no, in the shell. Oh, the butt action. Uh, no, you don't have a butt action. <laughs> you use your bonus action to misty step. You're right. Thank you. Yeah. And I Thank crit you, on you it too. Crit. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! That's okay. You have inspiration you can use on your other one. I do have inspiration. Would you like to roll your attack? I would. Can I use the dice that I just no. rolled? <laughs> Dang it! I'll let you re-roll one of the dice. It was such a good line. I can't not one kill it after one, that. Just one. Uh, um, inspiration double. I still get to use my bless, <laughs> yeah. though, right? Yep. Okay. That's better. 27. 27 will hit. So you're, like, he screams as you duck out, like, as, as he ducks out of the way, barely. And it lashes into it, and he looks like things are getting just a bit better. He's got one hit point. Okay. Um, <laughs> In that case. And, and then all of a sudden, like, the darkness just, like, fully encompasses him, and just, like, you can hear it crunching and everything, and... Uh, when it pulls back and away, like you can't even see through the darkness at this Ooh. point, as you hear it, just the choir building up and up and up in this in this diabolic uh, frenzy. Is it, is it a song I when uh, Anakin and, and, uh, and uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, and when it yes, pulls away, uh, there's the nothing fates, but a shell. Yes. Duel of fates. Duel of fates. So. Okay. Yeah. It's doing the cartoon spinning. Wow. 
oh that no, was intense. It's Darth Maul. And you, you, you feel, you <laughs> feel, you feel the sense of. Shinden, 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 Shinden. I'm going to mute the music during this time. Just so, <laughs> so we can hear everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you feel this deep sense of satisfaction um, okay. from the choir. And, and just, just beneath the surface of that, you, <laughs> you feel this sort of. Uh, uh, melancholy melody of uh, almost almost as if something is mourning in mourning, mm-hmm. as it were. Right. Huh. What does what does Ceridon feel right now? <sighs> she feels both of those things, but but I would say like seventy percent satisfaction with almost <laughs> like like there's like a good angel and a bad angel, but the bad angel is like getting smaller. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And she's like yes, and like I feel a little bit guilty, but. It's like crunk. You know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, actually, he's got a point. A leech death path that rocks. That, that was awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think everything is that. Oh, there's there's, there's one, one purple dude left. Oh, yeah, that guy. That guy. Uh, so it's actually the knight's turn. <clears throat> two attacks. And he hits with one of them. Can he do it? No, he can't. Okay. So it'll be up to. Uh, Bolt when it gets around his turn. Victor. Okay. Um, I'll say, oh, it's too bad for you. I get by with a little help from my friends. You get a d4 to add to it. d4, so that's going to be 14, 20 to hit. 20 will hit. So d4, so that is 4, 5, 6. And she's not technically within range of him for the sneak attack, right? Mm-hmm. Nope. Six damage. Six damage. Still alive. (laughs) Eve, would you do the honors? Absolutely. I haven't killed anything today. (laughs) Well, that was dark, even for you. (laughs) (laughs) I'm rubbing off on it. I don't know if I should be teaching you these. (laughs) I'm sorry, all I can hear is Gru. (laughs) We might have to mute me and have a lawful good leader. (laughs) Goros! Um, Bolt. It is your turn. I'm just gonna. I'm pound him again. Punchy, punchy. Punch him dead tomorrow. That's a crit. Woo-hoo. Yes. Nice. So, technically, you could punch someone into tomorrow. I could for like one second. One hurt. One hurt point. One hurt. <laughs> one <laughs> hurt point. <laughs> I mean, you can call them that for sure. <laughs> when you deal them uh, the hurt point, that fifteen. Let's deal to you. Fifteen. Uh, yeah. Is there any particular way you'd like to take care of this? I mean, I just bonk. How about that? Just. Definite, definite crunching sound. Uh, oh. Has no more neck. Uh, I hope you're all happy with yourselves. Sorry, you <laughs> and I don't mean to jog him so hard. <laughs> so he's that was a pretty good rock. That's yeah. really good. That was Andre the Giant. It, it sounded like a really good rock impression. <laughs> so I'll take a drink. Um, <laughs> oh, there's no now, oh, now I first. want a Princess Bride remake with. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be, oh, so that'd be awesome. Like, 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 yeah. Oh, they should do that. Rob Reiner's still alive. He should. He should direct it again. <laughs> Inconceivable. Did you? Did you? Sorry, we'll talk about that later. Uh, the quarantine. One. <laughs> did you yeah, yeah. Okay, it was awesome. It was good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I only saw pieces of it, but I liked it. What I saw. Uh, Eve, it is your turn. There's one guy left. Would you please end this? Well, <laughs> I don't know if Eve truly to wants to kill him. I want some information out of him. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You can make a non-lethal so, attack. Yeah. Let's see how we do here. Or you can ask natural him a question. <laughs> a natural one. Uh, yeah, so you kind of stumble before and you're like, you you go to like ask your question as to threaten him and you, you just kind of stumble and drop <laughs> your sword but you have to pick it up. So embarrassing. Yeah, it happens. that's not good. She tried uh, to end it, but, but I will say, she failed. who are you? You, you? All of your friends are dead, right? He's dead. Yep. All of your friends it. are dead. If you speak, I'll spare your life. Okay. Maybe. Um, intimidate for me. I know it's not my turn, but can <laughs> I use I'm my rolling action so to aid her? <laughs> Uh, sure, yeah, you can you can get plus yeah, two on this. Or sorry, plus two. I don't think it's gonna help. <laughs> um so I rolled in two. Plus four is six. Plus how many? Two. Two plus more. two, yeah. My aide was throwing more knives out around him just like 
So he, he rolled a wisdom saving throw after dem- being demoralized, and he actually failed. So yes. you win the contest. Right. And he goes, just, we're, we're just a band. We, we just run around, or we just extort, you know, like the usual, like we're taking tolls when we're not supposed to, that kind of thing. That's all. And who is your leader? You killed him. There's always another leader. Skaven was the only leader that we had. And you've been posing as as soldiers of of House Greenwood? Yes, yeah, the easiest way to get the money without, you know, all of the this and he waves at himself, the bloodshed, <laughs> all of the carnage around you guys. She holds her sword up and says, Where did you get that book? Terrible. They they bought it in Terrible. They purchased it? Yeah. From the, whom? The Wellspring Item Company. They sell them there for bounty hunters. And what is the price of the book? Oh, uh, that's a very good question. It's about 50 gold, actually, for that book. Hmm. <laughs> I think that is like, the end character. Yeah, that, that, actually, that's, 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 that's a very good question. I think it's about he does the finances for the group. Uh, yeah. That's 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 he's the treasurer. He's yeah. the treasurer. Yeah, yeah so he Vic, knows. Victor, I'm going to leave my knives there, and I'm going to walk away slowly and, like, you have this under wraps. I'm gonna go see if I can find the book. Hey okay, man, it's right there. It makes an opportunity attack against you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not taking that opportunity. Stab me! Attack. I dare you. Um, yeah, you kind of sift through the rubble uh, really quick, really easily um, from the barricade being destroyed, and there is a, a large book there. You yeah. can pick it up and uh, go ahead and add the a, one big book of bounties to your inventory. Mm, nice. And this is a this is a common magic item that uh, is usable by bounty hunters. Uh, or anybody that wants to be a bounty hunter, basically. And you can flip through the book and see all of the current bounties in an area. Okay. Not an area. <laughs> an area. <laughs> so it's not like How you walk into area. an area and it's like, oh, look, there's new... Three thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah. So Side basically, and, and you start flipping through and you clearly see Side Ezra's quest. in there. Like, that's the first one that you probably go through. Okay. And then you go a little bit further, and you, you're looking, and you do find one for one Evosia Ferricu. Does it say anything like about why? It, it says, it says, uh, run away, Evosia Ferricu, reward 15 gold for return to Bleakwood Forest. Dead or alive? Alive. Okay. Not that no, dangerous. Not that I'm going to. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just that. curious if it was... Okay, I guess. Because these guys obviously didn't want 15 gold if they were going to kill you, so... So, the, uh, meanwhile, the knight... Uh, we'll let we'll get back to uh, old uh, scaredy pants over there, and Eve. You're not scaredy pants. <laughs> scaredy pants at this point. Sure, sure. Uh, the knight looks at all of the carnage and then at Bolt and says, "Did you say that some of you were wanted?" No. Roll me a deception. <laughs> <laughs> just, a straight, just a straight. No. no. I swear you did. You just did. <laughs> I'm gonna suck. I'm gonna suck the darkness back into um, uh, I'm going with this. Uh, a neat. one, a dirty one. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Now so I'll roll up two. So, it's so, so it's one, and you're like standing there yeah, really so nervously, and kind of shifting it's back and forth, good. looking around. So I, no, I, I literally just go. No, <laughs> go back to what I'm doing. That, <laughs> that's a lie. I heard you say that exact thing. Nope, you misheard. I'm gonna gaslight the crap out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and he he puts his sword away, even though everything. He looks over at Sarah and he says, "You're a vanguard of Malagoth." Uh, that's impressive. How did you know? Was it my hair? Yes, actually, it was. Well, lack thereof, hair. I suppose. Yes. Um, you're you're not one of the wanted ones, are you? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> of course. No. Well, then, who among you is wanted? Uh, none that I know of. Um, but thank you. Roll me a deception because you I absolutely go. know that Ezra is. See, told you. I say, but but thank you for coming to our aid. As I'm rifling through the, the bodies. <laughs> yes. See if there's any loot. These, I, I, these bandits, I'll, I'll roll. Um, these bandits were um, trying to accost us. They almost killed a couple of my friends. Had you not arrived, we might not have uh, been able to pull that out. Um, sorry, you said deception. deception. Yep. Oh good, I have proficiency in deception. Why am I rolling that? I know. You still have blast. And I used I know, but that's not a saving throw. Oh, that's true. Wow. And I used my um, inspiration. So that's an eight. Okay. Uh, I almost I almost would I very well. fail. Would I be able I to overhear this conversation as I'm in the vicinity? Yeah, you're you're within 
Well, you you see what she means by that we that we were wanted. Um, we are very good at at getting rid of of people that uh, are bandits, trolls. We've killed a few of those for you. Uh, we are wanted for our skills. Roll me a deception check, please. <laughs> Sixteen. No, seventeen. Finally, somebody. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's not just gaslighting and <laughs> saying that you are wanted after saying no, I'm not wanted. I'm uh, not. I'm not the speaker of the not. group. <laughs> the, he kind of looks between all of you as you're kind of like gathering up again. <clears throat> um, Eve, I'm assuming that you're bringing the guy over. Yep, if you want I've got him up. tied if, up. If it helps, we here. Look, and I'm gonna, I'll show him my ring, my daggers, and just kind of like, yeah. But he he just kind of all of me. He looks like he just kind of ignores it for now. Like he's just like I I I can clearly see that you guys are keeping things from me, but I'm also in no position to fight at this point. <laughs> yeah, we all surround him. Yeah. You're like we're innocent. We're <laughs> no. totally innocent. <laughs> I, We've got a donkey on our side. You can say one word, and Penelope's on attack. behalf of House Greenwood. <laughs> You have my deepest apologies that you encountered such trouble along the road. Well, no offense, but it wasn't the first time. A troll, there was a banged up uh, beer golem that we that 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 Bolt here repaired, As and we happened to be right we happened to be escorting um, the one and only. Is it safe yet? You can come on out. Uh, You're the one have on, to clear that road a little bit for me. The, the one and only uh, yeah. famous chef, uh, gnome, whose I name know. starts with an I E. Know. Uh, I know. I know. I know. I know. The, the knight kind of moves his horse around and kind of pushes everybody out of the way that <laughs> that it's kind of standing there and walks up and he goes, "I know. I thought uh, I thought I heard that you were dead." And, and she's like, "It's going to take more than that uh, to kill me, Malik." <gasps> Malik. <laughs> By the way, if you don't mind me asking, how do you know about the vanguard of Malagoth? Oh, um, my father is from Malagoth. Indeed. Yeah. What's his name? Make me a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> Brevin. Brevin. Do I know Brevin? Uh, you can go ahead and roll history if you want. Is he Malagoth twins is a big city. That's a 16. Uh, 16. You you don't know any sort of Brevin? Like, and he, he explains a little bit. He was originally from there. He was born there, and, and he grew up. But uh, when he was an adult, he left. And, oh. And now he lives in Willow Creek. Was that before or after the war was over? You know, he doesn't really talk about that kind of time. Oh. So I'm assuming after. Anyway, m my name is Malik. Uh, not to be confused with the folklore hero. That's, the melodious. Yeah, that's uh, mm. just my father and mother being cheeky. My, 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 my favorite folk hero. Really? Indeed. Well, not going to find anything from me. <laughs> um, but I am a knight of the Greenwood, and unfortunately, one of the only people patrolling the ro roads these days. Um, Einor, it's good to see you, and Einor gives, gives him a nod. Um, if you if you would like, I can escort you the rest of the way to Willow Creek Hollow. I don't think we would mind the company. That would be welcome. Why Perhaps you're you better served helping others on the road further down where there's trouble. Obviously, well, we can handle we've, ourselves. We've sort of cleared everything between here and Six Hills. <laughs> Some of us are wanted. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> It's up to you. I'm. I won't impose upon you if you feel like you can handle things. You do. So I'm, not to very, I'm not very good at picking up on. Malik, um, do you have your own rations? You could have one. Yes. All right. I have trail rations. Then I think you'll be fine going on your own way. Very well. And he nods. Einor and Einor nods back, and they kind of share this look that almost looks like like he's asking her like. Are you okay? Are you in danger? Did blink, I just help the wrong twice. side? Kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> blink twice. If you're in and in fact, I'll let you take this prisoner for your own. Oh. Well, if I do have a prisoner, and he turns around and he starts 
pulling him back towards Willow Creek Hollow. It's like, I better get him back to town. How, how much further to Willow Creek? You're about a day's journey from there. Okay. Well. Best of luck to all of you. Thank you, and thanks again for your help. Well, hopefully you won't need it again. Well, I could use a breather. Indeed. Maybe we can travel a few miles away from all this death, and then we can take lunch. Sure. Is there any, is there anything on the uh, bodies that would be worth it? Bring back um, any rabbits. So all of the obvious like armor, turtles, turtles, like turtles that. soup. Um, <laughs> before he leaves, Malik also does request that you burn the patches that have their symbol, his house symbol on it, just as a professional courtesy. It's the least we can do. Okay. I don't suppose you offer a reward for killing bandits, or trolls for that matter. You'll have to talk to the guards in town. Okay, anyone in particular we should look up? Just go to the guardhouse. Will do. Speak with... <laughs> okay, I'll remember that. Actually, I won't. Speak with... So it's a good thing that you didn't give me an actual name, because I would have forgot it anyway. Param. <laughs> Param? Yeah. Param. Param. I better write that down. Or to say, Flarum. <laughs> per- Perilandro. Think of Perin, but Perum. Perum. It's, it's Perum. Um, I just say, uh, Vicky, there was a. The, 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 the turtle uh, is in the woods over there. I, I know you kind of have a thing about uh, gathering booty. <laughs> that that's what you need to us. <laughs> and I say that with a total straight face, by the way. Gathering, bo- uh, you think me a common thief? Of course not. These were honorable uh, kills, were they not? I would we, say you're very. We, we defended ourselves. I'll go with you, Victor. All right. Stop being so defensive all the time. Well, if you're so, there's just. Your Generic little armor. sword cup uh, would yeah, stop sorry. eating everything. <laughs> <laughs> All the loot. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I want to. I want to turn uh, Craggy into the bag again and, yeah. and like shake Pour it out, out just yeah, in it case. Like, it, there was it pours out uh, bones, uh, pieces yeah. like individual pieces of the bandit captain. Really uh, his skull comes out with the eye patch still on, right. um, and all of his That's armor and gear and everything. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna pick his thanks skull for, up. Thanks for reminding me. There's and go some and this. put it on one of the spikes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My gosh. I mean, that's just a good warning right there. <laughs> At the very least, let's give them an, a burial. Bandits are not... I can wear a necklace. Oh, as soon as Victor and I are out of earshot of everyone and in the woods looking for the tortoise body, like, um, <clears throat> what do you think of our companions? They seem to be a bit... Uh, really powerful. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> a bit <laughs> dishonorable. <laughs> I, I think Ceredon might Maybe be shocking. on the juice. <laughs> <laughs> she might um, be juicing, you know. I is it called Dr. Dr. Chaos? <laughs> she knows <laughs> that. <laughs> Find it in your local uh, magic item shop today. We'll go yes. carry that. Today, here, so. I, th- I think we are good and efficient, but sometimes it's... Scary a little. Little on the edge, yes. Yeah. I I trust Ceridon, but I can't lie. I'm a little afraid, perhaps for her, if if anything. Fair power. That's can some go. dark, some dark magic. Yes, it's I. It's it, the way it sounds. It's the Discord. I can see uh, when she's uh, when she's fighting, but it is. It is a little bone chilling to see what happens to her victims. Mm. Well, hopefully it's, she wins whatever battles she has with the with her internal demons. Well, uh, hopefully we can help her from falling too far. Agreed. What was Says the, the man who doesn't have a god. What was Before the they all, we yeah. are all consumed. <laughs> <laughs> Parent. 
Uh, Sorry, was there like more? Was there more? No, 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 that's it. And then we'll just go recover the body. And uh, you just find a turtle shell, okay. a turtle shell. Um, it, I'll torch technically, it. Oh, you're just gonna torch yeah, it? Yeah, bring okay. the body. We'll give it the respectful. burial respect. That's that's the best thing. Cause yeah, you probably don't want to like try and sell off a turtle shell. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Where, where did you get that? I just found it in the woods. I heard that they they just shed them as they get older. <laughs> it's like you know, it's like antlers. Yeah. <laughs> we found. <laughs> He found a log that he Hunting turned into his new shell. shell. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> it's like a yeah. Crab. Yeah. They just get one. By the they way, do that thing where they all line up. They're like, okay, everyone. They swap. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> and for the turtle swap. One, I guess once all that's done and we're kind of on our way back, I'll say, by the way, thank you for your help earlier. I I owe you and and uh, Eve a debt of gratitude. Probably mm. more than that. Mostly Eve. I just, you know, stood there. She did all the hard stuff. <clears throat> Did you say that when you came, when you came back? Just yes, like as we're kind of yeah. walking back, yeah. <laughs> Not really like quiet or anything. Okay. Just talking because I can't see very far. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, not at all. I I owe all of you an apology for getting you into this mess. I I know that these were unsavory characters, but but you were just defending Ezra, keeping him from from harm. Yes. Yeah, what happened on the other side of that gate? Um, and Eve says, who has the book? That book. <laughs> Give it to me, Victor. But I like it. <laughs> the big book of British You bounties. can keep it. I have something I want to show you all. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Big and book. Tears her. Just kidding. <laughs> it's magical. <laughs> it's just ripped the page out. It's just it's automatically just like read. New page. Uh, <laughs> can I bond with the book so then when it gets thrown away, it just comes back? <laughs> Actually, if you do tear a page out of it, it will reform that mm. same bounty in it. So. And nice. is the other page like... Can yeah. we then tack it up oh. on... Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Now, we know why Ezra, why they're after in Ezra. Paper. <laughs> uh, something I don't agree it's with. Sell for money. Yeah. Eve, you should you should know there's there's something in there you don't. I know what's in here, and she flips it open. She finds the page of herself and says, "This is why they attacked." Hmm. It's a much better likeness of uh, Eve than it was ever was of Ezra. Quite the like rebel. Me? The nose is dead on this time, <laughs> but nothing I say, else. I can't Everything else believe is they're off. only offering fifteen gold. You're worth way more than that. <laughs> well, that's so sweet of you. It says here that it's for a runaway. <laughs> How can that be? something that can be put into a bounty. That doesn't make any sense. It's not, illegal. It's not illegal, illegal as far as I know to run away from... Unless you're very important and people are looking for you. I'm How not... important are you, Eve? I'm not important at all. And I want to tell you about where I've come from, but I need you... <clears throat> Hold on. Einor, earmuffs. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't know if you'll believe me. We've already been through some pretty strange stuff. I don't think what you could tell us would be. I think you throw some princess from some you far think away think land, you trust and your royal family <laughs> needs you back home. That could not be any further from the truth. <laughs> Are you familiar with the fairy tale of the town they call Rowan? Thirteen history check. Thirteen history. Now we're yes. yeah. I don't need one. Um, Twenty-six. Uh, yep, Ezra definitely is. Twelve. Um, Bolt is surprisingly not, even though he's been everywhere. Uh, and Victor, you actually have heard of Rowan. That's just well. little. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Ba- do you want to go ahead and explain? Just <clears throat> like it, be, some well, people could be like, "Oh yeah, I know all about it and everything." But all right, so for those of you who made your check, uh, Ezra and Victor, uh, you know that Rowan is a—it's a folk tale about a mysterious town of uh, magifists that kind of live in secret. These are the people who are anti-magic. Yes. Sorry, not magifists, masifists. Correct. But same thing. <laughs> you were still right. So, go ahead. I know that this seems impossible, but that's where I'm from. 
That does not make sense. Well, some things don't make sense if you haven't seen them before, but I assure you it is a very real place. I grew up there and my family raised me as a masochist. Magic is completely banned in Rowan. And if anyone is found practicing it or, or found to be a magic sympathizer, the consequences are deadly. Hmm. Um, my mother recognized that I had some magical abilities and she helped me escape. It was that or potentially be put to death. There's a council there um, that oversees these things and I had practiced magic unknowingly. My father is on the council and we thought it would be easier on him if I ran away rather than force him to sentence his daughter to death. So you think that it was him that put this bounty on your head? I think it's someone from Rowan. I, I think, I don't think they know that I practice magic. I think perhaps they think I'm just a runaway and they want me live. back. Better to live as you are than to live there as something you're not. Yes, I suppose that's true. Though I do miss my mother terribly and I have no way of contacting her. No one <laughs> believes in Rowan, so I cannot have anyone deliver these letters I've been writing to her. Hmm. So, there it is. Do you, do you think that your mother is in any danger? I don't know, I don't know what they know when I left. My mother took me in the middle of the night and we went to the edge of the forest Rowan is in the depths of Bleakwood. And my father must have woken up and, and saw that I was missing. And we heard his voice calling for us. And my mother just told me to run. And so I did. And I have no idea what she told my father. I can only assume that she told him I ran away from home and she was trying to find me. I, I don't know. I really don't know. But I think my mother knows more about magic than she led me on to believe. I think she knew about the trio long before I ever knew who they were. I don't know the extent of her potential crimes against the, the council. But there you have it. I, I don't want you to feel like I'm hiding anything from you because I'm not, I just, didn't think you would believe me. Sari is the first one who, who has. Well, for the record, I do believe you. Thank you. Yes, it must be very hard. It's, it is difficult to have to hide your true self around those you love the most, especially mm. under such circumstances. And they're, they're truly not bad people. They've just, they've lived a life so secluded from the rest of the world. They don't get to see the beauty of magic. And I have seen that as I've traveled with you. When Ezra uses his time magic to, to, to make things different than they, than they should have been and, and to help us. I know, earmuffs. <laughs> She already knows about she, She's uh, moving her head now. Like, <laughs> this is a little bit above what she's willing to listen Come to. Penelope, we don't want to hear <laughs> this. <laughs> Plausible denied. It's beautiful. When, when, when Holix resurrected Embaris, that was beautiful. How could anything so beautiful be evil? I, I, I just think that they Why don't, don't you ask understand. She seems to have some dark side to her magic, Ceradon. <clears throat> oh, she's here. I, uh, <laughs> I just kind of say, says the Krona just, 
No. Mine is just illegal. It's not <laughs> dark and evil. Well, according to the Arcanum. According to the Arcanum. However, magic itself is not evil. It's how you utilize it. I say, well... I guess that's true. Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, while I appreciate the sentiment, I'm not sure if I myself believe that. After what has been happening the last few days. I kind of look at Eve. I say, hmm. Eve and I were talking about this before we left Six Hills. I'm not quite sure what's been going on with the Choir of the Crags, but apparently they're not quite as kindly and benevolent as I maybe originally thought they were. Their goal seems to be balance in all things, not necessarily truth and justice, if that makes sense. And <sighs> there's definitely a darkness there that I didn't anticipate at first. And yet, well, maybe like Bolt says, if what it's used for is to put an end to banditry, it can't be such a bad thing, can it? I can't deny it's been very helpful, but I'm a bit worried about you. You seem to change. I mean, it's hard to see what's going on in there, but afterwards, when I look at you... You don't want to see. Your demeanor is different. I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> he might be able to teach. <laughs> um, you'd have to multi-class, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess I just more than anything fear for a friend. I I, I don't judge you if that's how I, it came off. I appreciate the sentiment, and I hope that my retort didn't offend either. Um, for what it's worth, I worry about myself too. Perhaps if they really are about having balance in all things, the more you fall towards the dark, maybe the further you swing to the light. Hmm. Well, right now it feels like the pendulum's perhaps a little too far to one side, if that makes sense. I would like to find a way to bring it back. What do we know of the nature of the choir? Perhaps we could research and find out more. All I know is, well, craggy earmuffs. Just kidding. <laughs> it turns into a prayer room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know her! <laughs> That's good. <clears throat> All I know is <clears throat> there's great power and it's, well, like I said on that first night in the, in the Moose Tavern. <laughs> <laughs> the bulls whistle. This tavern. The, the, the moose's squeal. Yeah, the, the moose's <laughs> flute. <laughs> um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a collection of demigods. I suppose is the best way I could describe it, and they've been around <clears throat> for a very long time. Um, initially, the visions I had of them were all of uh, them protecting others, helping others. But uh, I've lately had others, other visions of, well, I suppose exacting vengeance, among other things. Um, I don't quite yet understand what the purpose of the quest that they've sent me on is, other than to try and find what is going on with the cracking. Um, uh, that's you, that's you what drove me. Look over at the sky that is basically yeah. got purple lines running through it. That's what that's what drove me uh, to the east originally. Um, but I wouldn't say no to more knowledge. On, on that point, um, Willow Creek has actually a pretty reputable school, academy. Mm. We might be able to find some information there about... I think I still have a friend at the academy, perhaps. Someone who might let me in the door into the library, despite everything. Am I, am I am I sensing any anything from the choir right now? As I sort of 
I'm relaying this information. Go ahead and roll me a religion check. Uh, I think that's an 18. If I'm not mistaken, 18. Um, so when you relay the information to them, you feel like the song gets muted, almost as if they're listening. Mm. And then when um, Ezra and uh, Paul start talking about the college, like the music kind of starts picking back up again. Mm. And is it, does it feel um, sort of more harmonious or more? Yeah. Okay. It feels a little bit more harmonious than it has been. Okay. I never I really had many friends, but a professor there um, seemed to kind of take a liking to me. Well, kind of a mentor, if you will. I, 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 I would love to. I would love to learn more. And to be honest with you, um, Craggy themselves don't seem too opposed to the idea. I, I also want to find out more about hmm. this if I can. I pull out the the inert shard mm -hmm. from the it's still shining shining away. I um, mean, for it's... what it's worth, you know, I, I don't have a problem with having bounties on your heads. It's better to know and not be surprised. Right. You know, Sari, maybe you just need the influence of someone else. Trio, perhaps. Hmm. Oh, I, I, I've never been particularly religious, but <sighs> or uh, something else to help again. with balance. Flarnagan heard a heard he or yeah, Flarnagan. Yeah, something else to help with the balance. <sighs> Couldn't be a bad thing, could it? Perhaps you could mm. teach me a thing or two. I can't speak about the gods, but I know reading good book has always brought me balance. I think we each have to strive to find find that on our own in some way. Well said. Well said indeed. And I think with that, you guys are going to continue along your way. Uh, you're going to spend one more night on the, on the road uh, having a nice meal. Um, I guess I can pull up uh, the next note. <laughs> Here. Uh, but we will go ahead and get to Willow Creek Hollow next time, I believe. Okay. Uh, and it's just pan fried rabbit with a slice of dice or a side of diced lim lima beans. Okay. So, yeah. A bit of kidney with some fava beans. Fava beans. <laughs> <laughs> and a nice Chianti. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. Uh, so thanks everybody for joining us. Uh, Thanks, we guys. will see you next time. I'm giving everybody inspiration tonight, among everything else. Uh, you guys did great. Big combat tonight. Uh, so th I hope you enjoyed a combat-heavy episode. Who knows what did. the next one will happen. Yeah, it was so yeah. fun. Good. Alrighty. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.